Reggie Wayne. I can't look at you, Reggie Wayne. Oh, I got married in New Jersey. That's no joke. That's weird. But I respect that. I'm a big fan, Mr. Luck. Okay, guy, settle down. Okay. Uh, Mr. Andrew Luck, it's every groom's dream to catch a touchdown pass thrown by you. Could you do me the honor? Yeah, let's do it. Keep the spiral tight? I'll try. Okay. I just need you to get real loose. Self, no worries, just follow after me. Yeah. Gonna do the two step, then cowboy boogie. Grab a sweetheart and spin a whip. Do the hold down and get into it. Take it to the left now and dip with it. Gonna throw down, take a sip with it. Now lean back, put your hips in it. Let's have some fun. Uh. To the left, to the left now. To the right, to the right. Oh, 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 baby, we are back in the Pick Glass Palladium. It is week three, and you know what that means. I can't delay doing the intro anymore. I've been putting it off for two weeks. It's time. We are back, baby, and this week we're heading down south for preseason Palooza. Ready to get going. It is Andrew, it is Brian, and it is once again joining us from Charging the Mound, Chris Perkowski. That's right, it's your favorite ABC connection. The ABCs, stepping in for that D, the Quattro. <laughs> how's it going? <coughs> hey, how's it going, guys? Thanks for having me. I forgot hey, to give you your vocal warm-ups. my throat. <laughs> give you your vocal warm-ups before we got started here. Boys, it's sure been a week. It uh, it has been a week. This well, is... Uh, what happened? Anything nothing happened. Yeah, I have nothing? no... Yeah, I, mean, I can't... No, no, I can't, let's just I, jump into I, it. I can't I, yeah. think of any football yeah. news that possibly happened this week that there cool. is to talk about. Um, yeah, no, no. I guess um, you could say we've had a bit of luck with football news <laughs> this week. Oh, shit, Andrew Luck retired. <laughs> oh, boy. Now, I just wanted to... We're going straight into this, obviously. Yeah, no, we so have yeah, to yeah, talk yeah. about Andrew this. Luck retired. Uh, the Colts murdered this fucking guy. Yeah. I, I just want to bring up... Ryan Grigson was the uh, GM of the Colts from 2012 to 2016. In that time, Andrew Luck was pressured 16 times per game the most in the NFL and was hit the most of any QB yeah. each game. Uh, but in that time frame, Grigson drafted three offensive linemen before the, the seventh round. Those three people are Hugh Thornton, Jack Muhort, and Khaled Holmes. Hall of Famers. If you're wondering, none uh, of them are uh, on the Colts. <laughs> <laughs> a who's who of Hall yeah. of Fame talent. Yeah. Um, th- like, they just... It, it took them... How many years to draft somebody like Quentin Nelson just well, to get some kind of protection? Maybe if for Quentin Nelson guy. would have been wouldn't have been stupid and was old enough faster, <laughs> he could have protected Andrew. Luck. He was born earlier, <laughs> goddamn piece of shit, <laughs> fucking idiot. <laughs> but like, uh, they they absolutely ruined this fucking guy's career. Yeah, yep. the guy's twenty nine. Yeah, and he's like, I can't. And he's anymore. like, you know what? I like architecture. I, I maybe I'll do that. And I think maybe I, that's better than this NFL also, thing. Like, I'm super fucking smart. I don't need yeah. this. Oh, yeah, no he's more. a Stanford graduate. Yeah. 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 I think people are taking what he said the wrong way, where he said he's mentally checked out of it. Like, they take it like he's sitting home and he's like, I really don't want to fucking do it this year. No, he's, like, but he's like, like, do you know how much I've been fucking hit and how many injuries I've had? Yeah, and he's like, do you know how hard it is to come back from an injury and then get another injury and get injured yeah. again? Yeah. And like, it's just he over and over and over it. again. Yeah. Because he got hurt in March this year and yeah. he's been going through the same process yeah. again and again. Because they're, they're fucking, their team doctors are garbage. Garbage. Obviously, their offensive line has been horrible uh, until this past season, yeah. but it finally jumped yeah. because they got Quentin Nelson, who's going to be a fucking Hall of Famer. Yeah. Uh, after after one year, the guy's going to be a fucking Hall of Fame <laughs> guard. Um, but they've I, I, you can't say it enough. This guy's they've ruined this guy's career. What they like management, Jim Irsay, Ryan Grigson, everybody top to bottom mm-hmm. has destroyed this man. Yes, Stephen A. And, Smith went on it too. Like yeah, and he went. Full Stephen A. Smith on, oh, on yeah? the Colts. He's like, Jim Let Ursay. me tell you something. <laughs> Listen here, Max. Jim Ursay is a real son of a bitch. Uh, also, like, I get it as a fan. Yeah. You're like, you're bummed out about it. It's funny. Like, but especially in a year where the Colts should have been something. Mm-hmm. Like, I'll be honest, going into this episode before that was the news, I was ready to have the Colts going all the way this year. I was very high. I sent you my ticket when yes, I went. You did. When I was in uh, Delaware for a family thing in, back in May, uh, I went down to Dover Downs. I've never gambled on sports before. I put forty dollars on the Yankees for the World Series, and I put twenty dollars on the Colts for the Super Bowl. I had a good feeling about their defense. Yep. I had a good feeling about Andrew Luck, and now Ooh. he's retired. Well, I mean, That's I not mean, happening. <laughs> he I better mean, pay me that twenty dollars. I mean, hey, well, you gotta see like cause the, the time system. of Brissett starts now. <laughs> 
Yeah, it, uh, I mean, you gotta see, like, because it could be a system thing now. Like, they could, like, kind of develop, like, the, Br Brissette always got like, the line being as good as it is. Absolutely. No, Brissette has everything yeah. in, like, he, in, pl in, like, set in he stone. He has all the stuff Andrew Luck like, wish he had. Yeah, <laughs> he's got, yeah, he's coming in at, right now with a no. dynamite offensive line. He's actually got weapons, yeah. weapons that he didn't have before when yeah. he started in 2016. Because mm -hmm. other than just got, yeah, yeah, other than Ty Hilton, he's got Devin Funchess. Obviously, he's got Eric Ebron. Let me ask they you guys: Do you want do you want to just go into let's this? Let's just go into we're, it. We're, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's no other real news out yeah. there. Usually, because um, usually we go in order, but I feel like this oh, it has to be. Yeah, yeah. Has I saw today when I was doing my research to bring in Brock Osweiler for a visit. Oh God. Uh, well, they need a backup, but yeah. I mean, there's so many other. Backups seriously, like, there. well, do you want to talk about key additions that they made? I will. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, honestly, besides what happened, they did not make a, have a lot of losses and additions no. this year. Uh, besides Andrew Luck, they uh, it's wide receiver Dontrell Inman, Ryan Grant, the wide receiver, and yeah. defensive tackle Al Woods. And in additions Nothing were big. Spencer Ware, the running back, Justin Houston, the defensive end, and Devin Funchess, the wide receiver. Yeah. Uh, and then they drafted Rocky Sin, uh, second round, thirty fourth. Uh, ben Banagu. Mm -hmm. Of uh, outside linebacker yeah. and uh, Paris Campbell, yeah. all in the second round. Yeah. yeah. Now, uh, Rocky Sin was a uh, highly touted cornerback yeah. that was supposed to go in the first round. Yeah. They got him as a steal Mock draft early. In the I had him, yeah, we had him going yeah. first yeah. round. They got him as a steal early in the second. Um, Banagu is a, a solid linebacker, but mm -hmm. Paris Campbell is a, is a talented wide receiver. And so you, he's got. Obviously, T. Y. Hilton, who's one of the top five wide yeah. receivers in the league. Yeah. Uh, then, you, then you've got Devin Funches, who maybe in a new system will will pan out better. Then you've got the rookie Paris Campbell. He's got weapons. Obviously, he's got Eric Ebron, and in my opinion, Marlon Marlon Mack is a very solid running back. Yes, he ran for nine hundred yards last year. There's no yeah. reason he shouldn't do there, it again mm -hmm. behind that line. There was a point last year, I think, after their bye week, where everything just clicked. Yeah. Because no one was sold on Mack. No one yeah. was sold on Ebron. No one was sold on like half of the stuff. And then. It seems like then they like they went no on the street. No one Frank Reich, yeah, right. who yeah. stepped up to the yeah. Yeah, coach. After, uh, what's this? Josh McDaniel said, "Fuck it, yeah, he's exactly. I'm not doing this." And yeah, he's like I don't want to do this. But like, Which I think they're in better hands than if they were with Josh McDaniel. Yeah. We've yes, seen Josh McDaniel's as head coach it was before. Horrible. Yeah. Bad, yeah. bad times, <laughs> bad times at the El Royale. Yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. but yeah, you still like the offensive line went like what six straight games without giving up a sack. Yeah. So Andrew Luck had all this time and all, and then the defense, which everyone thought was going to be a joke, shut out the Chargers. Darius Leonard was the yeah. best rookie out there. Yeah. And, you know, it's they had an incredible season there, yeah. and, and now they're adding a veteran like Justin Houston in there. That's, that's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, also, I will say, uh, what was it, two years ago that Brissett played almost the full season for them? Yeah, yeah. 2016. And yeah. again, he played behind a terrible offensive line. Yeah. And he and managed to go 6 and 11. Yeah, and yeah. With out of 6, six, and, six and, 10. and 10, I think. Yeah. And with his only weapon being T.Y. Hilton, who was double and triple covered, covered every time. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah, see why Hilton's been like he's yeah he's like you said he's tops in the league. Yeah. He gets I think maybe a thousand yards per season. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah, he does. So uh, I I will say that um, like talking about it now, I kind of see them more high than I had them here. Mm -hmm. uh, considering Brissett brought them to that six and ten record, uh, and they are arguably uh, like a much better team now. Yeah, uh, I think I was a little pessimistic just because of the strength of schedule. I think they do have a very hard schedule. They play a lot of good teams. Uh, I had them eight and eight. That's not bad. No, I don't think they're going to be a bad team, but I don't know if this is like now because of what's happened going to be the year where they go, you know, 10 11 wins. Mm -hmm. I think with luck they would have. I think with Brissett I see him at 8 and 8. I have him at 9 and 7. Okay. Even with Brissett as quarterback. Yeah. I, I think if uh, luck was there there'd be two two or three games that I would switch on, but I think uh yeah, Brissett may not have enough mm -hmm. in the tank to get him over, but I think I don't. I don't think that it's. They're, they're not going to lose this season because of Jacoby Brissett. No, no. I think it will be. But more I do of, think Jacoby Brissett is not Andrew Luck. Yeah, you know. Yeah, so here's one of my hot takes. Really? Uh, is, this the, is this the? Going, it's, it's, this is not going the, 16 not and 0. <laughs> This is not the one. I've got him at 11 and five. 11 oh, and five. You think Brissett so, steps up? Absolutely. I think they. I think they start the season probably about three and two. Okay. Uh, okay. Going into the bye, but after that. You look at it, they've got the Texans twice, who I don't think the Texans will be very good. Mm -hmm. They've got the Broncos, who are awful. The Steelers, who we talked about last week, I don't think will be very good. The Dolphins are terrible. The Jaguars aren't great. The Titans aren't great. The Bucks aren't great. Those are yeah, those the, those should all be fucking gimmies for them. They have the Broncos from week seven too, to week so. to week fourteen. Yeah. yeah, I said the Broncos. Oh, so sorry, yeah, sorry. week seven to week fourteen, those should all be good. If they don't go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, if they don't go like seven and one in that span. Yeah. 
They, which they now, should. Full yeah. disclosure, uh, Chris also has $20, like you said, riding <laughs> on the coast. <laughs> unbiased. I need this. <laughs> it's I, unbiased I think they're going opinion. undefeated, guys. <laughs> I think we're winning the Super Bowl. <laughs> Bit of a, a biased view. Yes. No, no. The old no. Colts slogan is clippy clomp, clippy <laughs> clomp, let's go Colts. <laughs> No, but like I think this is a good team. I think it's uh, as good as as the team last season, yeah. and I think Brissett steps up. He's you know uh, I I think he'll show that he's ready. Yeah. Uh, I that's, think if, that's no, a hot I, take. I, if Reich d- had a shittier season last year and wasn't as good, mm-hmm. I think it would be more of like a, an abysmal thing. Yeah, but sure. I think because Reich seems to have like the coaching gift mm-hmm. right off the bat, I think it'll be good. Everyone's gonna kind of rally around each other. I yeah. Th- and also, uh, like we say on the show, um, I know we've had a few debates with Mikey between like Dak and Rogers or whatever, but it's like a quarterback is not the entire team. No. It's a team sport. No. And just as a quarterback doesn't win every game, a quarterback doesn't lose every game. Right. Right. And they still have an incredible team along with Jacoby yeah. Brissett. Yep. Um, look at fucking, I, I always point to this, Peyton Manning Super Bowl win. Mm-hmm. The guy can barely throw a football yeah. anymore, but yeah. that defense and the team was so good, yeah. they won him a Super Bowl. Yeah. You know? If the line, if the line gives him protection and the defense mm-hmm. plays as well as they did last yeah. year, and I think they a go a long way. And if that's possible, exactly. any any quarterback yeah, Marlon, is, Marlon, is, Marlon is going to be the is going to be the catalyst. If Mac can get he's the game twelve hundred yards this year, I think they'd definitely be, mm. and if not the conference, uh, the division winner, if, they'll if definitely not be Mac, a longer. If they can get if they can get 1,200, 1,300 yards between him and Spencer Ware, oh, yeah, between yeah. the two yeah. of them, yeah. yeah. Did Mac have uh, any injury issues last year? I don't believe so. Okay. I, I, think thought he, I, I think he played I a think, full season. Yeah. I think the year before he had problems. I think he may have had like a, like a like maybe an ankle. Injury. Okay. Yeah. Just cause I, I vaguely remember from like fantasy stuff last year, seeing a lot of Marlon Mack. Like, should I start him? I don't know if he's this and that. I think a lot. That of, might have been from uh, usage. A lot though. of a lot of Mac uh, insecurities came from like, is this real? Can I believe in Mac? Like mm-hmm. I'm getting like. It, like he started turning That's it on. You know what? You know what? He played twelve games or four. Uh, yeah, twelve games. Yeah, he so did twelve games and, and still ran. Oh no! Yeah, that's yards. incredible. If you played a full season, that's that's probably at a pace of about twelve hundred yards. Right. So yeah. yeah, which is incredible. Yeah. Also, I think a lot of people are were because he's a smaller yeah. bodied back, so yeah. they don't see him as like they're a, worried about durability. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. But with yeah. Spencer Ware there, and if he's if Spencer Ware also stays healthy, you got Spencer someone Ware's to crash the line, and then you got Mac to cut. Yeah, it, it is it is worth noting Spencer Ware is old as shit. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, like for what it's worth, yeah. <laughs> for what it's worth. So, uh, uh, Brian, you have it all jotted down. For uh, us? Yes, I do. You're the record man. All right, so I let's go to the handy uh, dandy notebook. We said we go to the Texans. You gonna go Texans? I was kind of high on the Texans. I've always been high on the Texans for some unknown reason. Well, like, uh, ever since they came into the league, I was like, uh, you know what? This my, is the year for the Texans. My Super Bowl prediction is going to be the Texans and the Detroit Lions. They're bringing Lions. back David Carr. Yeah. Gonna <laughs> <laughs> we finally uh, got an offensive line, baby. So fun, the fun thing about the Texans is that uh, they re- they got rid of their GM, Brian mm-hmm. Gain. Okay. They currently don't have a GM. Right. That's they still just don't have one. Yeah. Bill, O'Brien Bill O'Brien running, yeah, the, yeah. running the show. So uh, he's gone. Demarius Thomas is gone. Kareem Jackson, T- Tyron Matthew. Uh, Ryan Griffin, Kevin Johnson, Kavion Johnson, and Sharice Wright. And they've added Bradley Roby, Matt Khalil, A.J. McCarron, Darren Fells, and Brian Anger. Went and drafted uh, first round, Titus Howard, the offensive tackle. And second round, Lonnie Johnson Jr., the cornerback. Um, cornerback, yeah. Yeah, cornerback. I, I think you did say that, but I just wanted to make it yeah, sound, yeah. sound clear. You never yeah. know. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, always yeah. a weird thing to say, yeah. <laughs> well, three years into this Sean Watson's career, let's get him some competition. <laughs> Yeah. Bring it, yeah, they brought in AJ McCarron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, AJ McCarron is the definition of no competition. <laughs> yeah. um, oh, I got the Buffalo Bills job. No, I don't. It's it's worth noting that the uh, signing Matt Khalil that he hasn't played since 2017. He didn't. He wasn't on a team. Oh, this really? Year. Yeah. So, because um, he was released by a team this year, like he's been on a team. Yeah, did, ha- did not play a was game last Panthers? year. He played for the Panthers last in 2017, but was not on a team last year. Did not play a single game. I gotta look because I think. No, yeah, he was. Uh, oh wait, no, but they released him. I think this year. I think he just didn't play. Yeah, he didn't. He, yeah, he did didn't not the, play. Yeah, didn't the Jets just sign a Khalil? I think the probably Ryan. Ryan. Ryan Khalil, I think, because yeah, the, the, the Panthers released both of them, Ryan yeah. Khalil and Matt Khalil. Um, <laughs> like, oh, we meant to do one. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, we are <laughs> we gonna do this? Yeah, I mean, like Bradley Roby's a depth cornerback, and Tayshawn Gibson is gonna start. Yeah, but. So, I mean, they just didn't even try to sign Tyron Matthew, who was their best 
player last year. Yeah, they brought him on almost yeah. as like a try it thing. It was a great, one, and yeah, then it was, was a one-year like, prove it. All right, deal. go to the Chiefs. It was yeah. a one-year prove it deal, and he he was the best player on the team. Yeah. And they were like, all right, you can get out of here. You you did your job. Get out of here, you scam. Like JJ Watt can't stay healthy. No, and then uh, I think he actually played a full season. He did play year. a full yeah. season for the first time in like four years. Yeah, but I'm not banking on that to be um, the norm. Well, he had Clowney to, he had to write those checks. Yeah, to Clowney yeah. is most likely gone. Cla- yeah, there's Clowney no GM to fucking sign him. Clowney has, has tag. Tag. Clowney has not signed the franchise franchise tag yeah. yet. And now there's rumors that they're just going to trade him. Yeah, so he. So, I heard so he met, he's not reporting. I heard he met with like the Dolphins and yeah. two well, other teams, the Seahawks, he, I think. Yeah. And Clowney said he would prefer to go to a team like the Eagles or the Seahawks because he thinks they're better winners and the. Texans responded with, we're probably going to treat you to the Dolphins, so shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. Well, I got news for him. The Seahawks are not winning shit this year, so no, I don't we, know why you think he's going with the Seahawks. Then again, we, I said this ain't 2014. Year, yeah. I had them being dog shit last year, and then like they, they somehow just keep they doing were it. average, though. Yeah, yeah. But, they were, yeah. but they weren't dog shit. Like yeah. No, no, they, no. They, Pete Carroll's um, out there chomping on gum, being like, yeah, let's go. Uh, huh. Yeah, we won a few years ago. 9-11 <laughs> was an inside job. <laughs> Should have ran the ball. Guy's a fucking 9-11 truther. Yeah. Uh, so, um, yeah, it's pretty flat, you know? <laughs> Um, I, yeah, man. Like, I don't think this team's gonna be very good. Me neither. Yeah, uh, me neither. They're, they're, they don't really have an offensive line. Mm-hmm. Um, and aside from aside from um, fucking uh, Deshaun Watson. No, uh, DeAndre Hopkins. Oh yeah. yeah they like, don't what offensive good. weapons do they that, have? That's their connection. Lamar Miller's like knee just exploded. Yeah. But they're like one of those teams that like weirdly stay in every game. Sure. Like they were like quietly really good last year. Yeah. Like after that Giants game, you they said won. quietly like, really good. They went eleven and five. That's, yeah. <laughs> but like they went like zero and that's four. That's what I have them going this year. They went like zero and four, and then they yeah. went eleven and five. Uh huh. So yeah. like they were quite like I feel like people weren't really like man the fucking Texans, but no, they were just winning no, they game weren't. after no, game. They weren't. Yeah. You're right. But yeah, I, I'm not I'm not sold on this team at all. Like I said, I think their I think their defense is suspect, mm-hmm. and their offensive line isn't that great. And aside from, uh, d- aside from aside from Hopkins, I really don't know what weapons, uh, Watson is throwing to. Yeah, <laughs> and and, <laughs> I have no idea. and this is the same thing that like that we just talked about with the Colts. So far, Watson has played behind. Like uh, offensive line made of Swiss cheese. Yeah, yeah. They so got a, like, he, this, is your, this is your this is your sorry. This yeah. is your prime like investment, and you're not protecting him. Yeah. This yeah. guy's gonna die too. Yeah. He's the second coming of Andrew Luck. Yeah, just like quarterbacks go to the south to die. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, I have them right now at nine and seven. I think it was. I, I I think seeing that they were eleven and five, I think yeah. nine and seven is a fair assessment. I've got. I think them. they're going to be middle of the road, like a completely. I've got them team. falling to the bottom of the division at really? seven and nine. Whoa. Yeah. I have them eleven and five. Cause okay. Whoa! Cause Whoa. I'm all, all over the place. I'm, I'm still <laughs> hoping for the uh, Houston Texans. This might have been. Our, this might be our most like divisive. Absolutely, division. it is. Yeah. Good God! They're, they're that, I kind of I kind of miss Mike not being here because I want to see what he had. Oh, yeah. he did he send anything? No, no. Well, it's he, uh, that classic Dallas. The Dallas. Dallas right? Right? <laughs> <laughs> the whole all of last year. I Does he say like, this? He Dallas. No, no we it, tell oh, him that. I goof on him, be like, "Oh man, the Battle of Texas." It's like. We don't even look at them like they're a competition and they beat them. It's like, well, maybe we should start looking at them. <laughs> start watching the Texans and get at them. Yeah. You know, they say they're taking over the state. <laughs> so, so right now the only... They're the new America's team, I hear. <laughs> so the only healthy running back they have is uh, Buddy Howell uh-huh. and Cullen Gillespie. Uh, well, Duke they, Johnson's yeah, not healthy? Yeah, they have oh, Duke Johnson. He's already hurt? <laughs> they don't even have him on the fucking depth chart. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> They like, have, we signed they that like, guy? <laughs> they have three wide receivers. Two of them are already out. Who yeah, are their other wide receivers? Uh, Kiki Co- uh, QT oh, Q- and if, Will Fuller. Kiki is very good, but he can't stay healthy. Yeah, right. That's his problem. I think and Ju- Fuller is Fuller's very good. But yeah, I, yeah, I do he, think he, Joe he's, Webb's going to get some reps as a wide receiver this year. <laughs> Fuller's another issue where if he, they can where have he all can't three stay of healthy. Those, if they can have all three of them healthy at the same yeah. time, they can be beasts. Yeah. Um, if... AJ McCarron's already questionable. <laughs> <laughs> I think he, he's permanently questionable. Yeah. How is he still like an active? Football? Wasn't there like initially, initially last year, going to be like uh, a QB battle with him and Josh Allen? He was going to start for the Bills. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. then like he they was tr- questionable. <laughs> he, he won the starting job in in preseason, and then he like and they broke his body. Yeah. <laughs> and then they were like, "All right, well, Nathan Peterman, get on out there." It was probably that weird <laughs> fucking tattoo he has, the Jesus Christ tattoo. Yeah, yeah. his chest. Piece. Yeah, the fucking bullseye. <laughs> so uh, I guess we'll uh, move on from the Texans. Did the Colts? It's time to remember the Titans. Yeah. Oh. So we got. Uh, I am not high on the Titans. Some losses for yeah. the Titans. We have uh, Josh Klein, Blaine Gabbert, 
Kendrick no. Lewis. No Gabba Gabbard? Gabba Gabba uh, Gabbard. No Gabba Richard, Gabbard. Richard Matthews, Brian Arakpo, and Derek Morgan. Uh, they've added Adam Humphreys, Roger Saffold, Cameron Wake, Ryan Tannehill, Ryan Hewitt, and Brent Urban. Did they just raid the Miami Dolphins roster? Pretty much. Uh, they also drafted uh, defensive tackle Jeffrey Simmons first round and second round A.J. Brown wide yeah. receiver. So um, they got Mariota another weapon. Yeah, exactly. A.J. Brown putting him across from Corey Davis, who, you know, Davis had a solid year last year, but they're waiting for him to actually break out. They took him with the fifth pick a couple mm-hmm. years ago. So They want him and uh, Derrick Henry to actually play like yeah. consistently and all Henry season. was Henry was excellent last year. Yeah. Henry finally had a good season. Um as much as like I don't think he's a great quarterback, I think the Ryan Tannehill signing was fine because it's Mariota has decent backup. Mariota yeah. has not played a full season. No, so you know that you're gonna you're more gonna, than likely you're gonna need somebody to play. Also, so you they so took a serviceable fine, quarterback yeah. that'll be able you to get You can line Tannehill up as a wide receiver. He played wide receiver all up until college, so I don't I think mean, they're going to do probably, that. Probably Let's <laughs> do it. Get I him probably, out there. I probably wouldn't do that. <laughs> Mariota's like, I mean, hell, get on out there, I pal. Could, and I could probably put Snacks Harrison in wide receiver, <laughs> but I I'm wasn't going to do it. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, you know, I could I could get a good look at a T-bone steak by looking up a bull's ass, but I'd rather <laughs> take, right. the, take the butcher's word for it. <laughs> <laughs> but um, um, Watch this. You'll see Ryan Tannehill's <laughs> second career as a wide receiver. <laughs> yeah, and then they, now they've got Adam like, Humphrey. You see you bastards. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> They've got Adam Humphreys in the slot, so they did get two weapons for him, yeah. honestly. Yeah. Uh, but um, uh, and Brian Arakpo had a good season again last year, but now we retired. So to focus on the cupcake on this shop. cupcake shop, yeah. yeah. Um, so Cameron Wake, who's like also real old, like <laughs> <laughs> so maybe maybe he'll just replace the other old guy that they have. <laughs> so like, no one will notice. <laughs> he's like, I heard so, there's great cupcake business yeah. in this area. <laughs> Put a Arakpo <laughs> in his jersey. Maybe, no one's yeah, gonna know. Maybe maybe Wake will. Play well. I don't know. The, to me, the the uh, the game changer is Jeffrey Simmons, the mm-hmm. defensive tackle out of uh, Mississippi State, yeah. mm-hmm. who um, was would have gone higher. Uh, a lot of people think that he would have gone in the top ten if not for the uh, issue that he had in high school, where he and his sister beat up a girl. Oh. Um, but again, the story was that like the girl was uh, beating up his sister, and then he jumped in and ganged up on her. Uh, from all sources, from like you know college and stuff, he's been. Nothing short of like a, you know, first class citizen. Like he's been, per- yeah, you know, like perfect, perfect example. Like good student. Like just a like, like a good dude. His problems are behind him, but it sort of forced his stock down. But I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, good you know. for the Titans then. Yeah, you know? <laughs> so it looks like it looks like they got a steal in terms of talent. Yes. and it's a guy who's been rehabilitated, mm-hmm. and he, his issues are behind him. Yeah. So I, I mean, I also yeah. like the AJ Brown drafting. AJ Brown drafting, I think, is going to be big. Yeah, I think he shined next to uh, when DK Metcalf and Ole Miss. Yeah. I think he looked fantastic. He's the better one of the two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. DK Metcalf can one one uh, run one route, and that's straight. And yeah, deep. exactly. <laughs> Mike Wallace style. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, uh, I, I think absolutely AJ Brown was the better one out of that school that um, l- this past season, mm-hmm. and. Um, like I said before, if if he and Corey Davis can pan out, then I think uh, Mariota's got weapons. The you know, they've just got to hope that the line is going to protect Mariota. Yeah. Let me ask you: next year, if uh, if Mariota has a season this year like he's had last year, are you resigning him? I don't think so. No. Yeah. You no. can move on. It's kind of been a very I think I think I yeah has not st- like I said he hasn't stayed healthy a full year exactly you know I, if yeah if he if he does basically what he's done the last couple of years which is be completely average yeah no I'm not resigning get hurt him. three or four weeks and then be yeah average, uh, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna go and draft one of the big guys we talked about that last week I'm gonna go draft one of the one of the three yeah, big guys of course yeah. uh, also like I don't know why it's just one of those weird things to me the Titans are the team I always forget about. Like, yeah. you know, all the, I like, did too. They're very teams forgettable. Yeah. I did too. I was writing down the the my uh, on my notes. Who is I was that like, Who's this last yeah. team in the AFC South? Who the fuck is those in the South? It's like I know it's the Colts, the Jags, the Texans, and the Char- Chargers, the Cardinals, <laughs> Chargers. Like, holy fuck! The Titans are still a team. <laughs> oh, the Titan! Oh, cool. cool. It's funny because nobody remembers the Titans. Yeah. <laughs> Their head coach, Mike Ver- uh, Vrabel. Yeah. So um. We didn't say schedules yet, did we? No, no, we say, yeah. no, no. And um, we didn't say. Uh, yeah, yeah, we didn't they say what they're going to do. I have them also being a very mediocre team. I have them seven and nine. I don't think they're going to be piss poor, but I don't think they're going to do anything special this year. I have them six and ten. Yeah, I think they have a they have a pretty rough schedule, and they get like. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't think. I don't think Mariota is going to do well this year. I've got him at eight and eight. 
This is a like this is like the most mediocre division. I feel yeah, like, yeah. yeah. But it's also the most fun because Absolutely, now our predictions are kind of all over the yeah, place. Yeah, right. yeah. I've got them at eight and eight, um, including uh, a sweep of the Texans. Ooh, really? Yeah. Wow. I, I feel like when I was like looking at schedules for this division, I was kind of like, eh, they're probably gonna split. <laughs> <laughs> like every one of them, I was like, it's gonna be a split. It's all the way down the middle. <laughs> It's I like each team is so just like okay. I have them sneaking wins against the Falcons and the so do I, and the Panthers. So let's see what happens. And now we've got Saxonville. Yeah, big old Saxonville. They're Saxonville. Big old Saxonville. They're Saxonville and Saxonville. Because <laughs> they got Duval. <laughs> we've got the uh, yeah the owners of AEW, Jacksonville Jaguars. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so key losses, obviously, the boat, Blake Bortles, right. now mm. backing up the Rams. Uh, TJ Yeldon, Corey Grant, Dante Moncrief, Rashad Green, and Eric Flowers. Oh, no. A lot, yeah. of, a lot of big losses there. What happened to Eric Flowers? Losses. He's a starting guard for the Redskins. Yeah, he's starting right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's protecting he Dwayne Haskins. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, no. I, I do think Case Keenum is actually the starter to start the season. Yeah, so. yeah probably. So he'll, he he'll got, kill Case Keenum. Yeah. And then, well, then, he got then Dwayne protect, Haskins yeah. like, murdered in preseason. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. There was God. a few plays. Yeah. He's, like, just as bad as guard as he is a tackle. I don't, I don't, I don't know, know how I don't know how you're – and he's playing left guard. He's on the fucking blind side. Yeah. Honestly, he was, like – He'll make a hell of a coach. Okay, one day. in Jacksonville, like he wasn't horrible in Jacksonville. I don't know what they did with him, but he was like, all right. <laughs> Coughlin yeah. knew what to do. Yeah, like, he's like, hey, I, I guess tell so. him what to do this. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how this guy's still in the fucking yeah. league, man. It just goes to show you the value of like a draft pick. Yeah, yeah. if he was like a like a fifth, fourth, fifth, sixth round pick, he would have been out of the league four years ago. Yeah, yeah but, but because he's a first round, round pick, pick everyone like, continues. Let's just keep trying to see yeah. if this no, guy can do it. He's going to be the starting quarterback of the DC Defenders next year. Eric Flowers. Eric Flowers. Quarterback. <laughs> he's, he's like, you know what? Time for a change. Yeah, I've been playing offense That's my whole my life. <laughs> I, I he is struggling really to protect the quarterback when really I'm the quarterback. I should have been behind the line this whole he time. He's really good at standing in the pocket and not doing much. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then they've added, uh, of course, Nick Foles, the new starting quarterback. Yeah. Alfred Blue, running back. Who's Big old contract. Back up, uh, Fournette. There. Alfred, yeah. Alfred Blue wandered outside of Houston again. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Alfred Blue. who Feels like he's been in the league for like 32 years. Yeah, you want to talk about all this fucking <laughs> uh, Terrell Pryor, wide receiver. Chris Conley and old Jeff Swaim from Dallas. Yeah. Coming over to uh, the Jags. Yeah. Who'd they draft, Andrew? They drafted who the Giants. I want he them should to have take been a team. Giant. Josh motherfucking Allen. Why is he a Giant? Because Danny <laughs> Dimes, <laughs> baby. <laughs> and then uh, the other guy I thought the Giants were going to take, Juwan Taylor, offensive tackle. Why isn't he a Giant? <laughs> <laughs> the Redskins and the Jags both had the drafts I've envisioned the Giants yeah. having. I was like, man, we got Haskins, we got Sweat, we got Jawan Taylor, we got, we got Josh Allen. And I was like, Jones! <laughs> you got to be fucking kidding. Yeah, dude, I, I still, still like, as clear as, as clear as day, like it was yesterday, man. I'm sitting on the couch, Giants are on the clock. Yeah. I can't believe five teams passed on Josh Allen. Yeah. We're going to have Josh Allen. I can't right. believe this. It's, it's coming right up. Then we got Goodell walking to the, walk the stand, I'm like... They drafted Daniel Jones. Yeah, you, like, you, you <laughs> sort in the walk. You yeah, sort in the walk. And then, <laughs> and then, and then they sh- when they announced the pick, they showed license plate guy. And yeah, he was and just he's like, like, he's like, here we go. And he's oh, like, oh my god. Like, I, I, he kind of just like laughed to himself. He's yeah, like, he's, he's, like, like, he's like, what the fuck are we gonna do? <laughs> but then, like, I know it's preseason. Yeah, but he's looked good. He's looked incredible. Yeah, and I, I, I do understand the motto that yeah. like if you have a quarterback, you believe you take him. Yeah, when he's when he's on the board. I also uh, I just don't believe that you uh, you draft a guy after. Watching him play a series in a meaningless in the game. Senior Bowl, yeah, which so, is what he did for Kyle Walletta and yeah. Davis Webb. <laughs> he's like, he's like, yeah, I watched. Uh, I like, you notice the good quarterbacks don't go to the Senior yeah. Bowl. Yeah. He's like, he's like, I watched a series of this guy and I was in full bloom love. Like, I'm like, oh, cool. Glad well, you just, you- glad you just like fucking banked the future of this yeah. team on one series in a meaningless college game. Yeah, you fucking prick. Well, your legacy yeah. rides on it, so. <laughs> But, but, I hope he keeps but again, so time. far, He's so far, I'm, I hope I'm. I hope I have been wrong mm-hmm. to this point. This early, he's looked absolutely electric. Like yeah. putting putting balls in tight windows. Mm-hmm. Um, just no, like did, did, he's. <laughs> 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 Sorry, just the phrase of putting balls. 
All right, putting passes in tight windows. There you go. <laughs> like, like he, fucking he's middle like, school children. He's like, <laughs> his balls won't nah, fit. He's like, he's, he's like excellent. Window. He's like excellent. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think I think Dexter Lawrence was saying that like when they played them in college, mm -hmm. he's like he was killing us. Yeah. It's just that his receivers couldn't catch the it, ball. Yeah, that's he did say yeah. that. Yeah, and um, and honestly, if you're if you're gonna look at between the two, he's looked better than Dwayne Haskins has in the preseason. Yeah, so. yeah. I mean, yeah, like but again, said, it's preseason. Yeah. So he's also again, running, yeah. Dwayne Haskins has been running for his life with fucking yeah. Eric Flowers there. <laughs> but well, let's talk about the Jags. Them Jags. Them Jags. I don't coming off a real, the real roller coaster of a team. Playoff team two years ago. Yeah. Went like what they go five and eleven last year. Um, I, think I got it, was, it here. They went five and eleven. Yeah. Coming off. Yeah, exactly. Coming off of an AFC Championship yeah. appearance because mm -hmm. they did not believe in Bortles. And I remember almost, you, yeah, you were you were high on them last year. Yeah. Because you I, said you were like I, I didn't. Like, I saw Bortles. The, I didn't yeah. see in the playoffs. Like yeah. I'd never seen that guy before. Yeah. And we thought he was gonna kind of stop. And, and, and then he came back down to earth. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't high on the And he like lost. He lost his hair in the process. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like bald now. Right. Um yeah, he went he went the full Yogi Berra now. Now he actually looks like Yogi Berra. Yeah. But like all the talk when he was drafted, they're like, this guy looks like young Yogi Berra and now it's like, <laughs> oh, he just looks like Yogi Berra. Yeah. Like <laughs> I mean he's gone from like yeah. the the high society of Jacksonville to now Los Angeles. Yeah. The slums uh, of Los Angeles. To be fair, he's probably got more of a chance of winning a Super Bowl. Being yeah, so oh, he's gonna get a riding the pine yeah. in yeah. Yeah. Los riding Angeles. Jared Goff's coattails all the way to a fucking Super Bowl. Barstool yeah. is gonna have a fucking field day if he has a Super Bowl ring. Um, but the well, the 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 major thing. Oh man, so what are they gonna do on Good Place when when uh, he does not win a Super Bowl with the Jaguars, but he wins wins one with the Rams? What? Oh, is okay, that a thing so on the Good Place? All right, so there's a big thing on the Good Place. One mm -hmm. of the guys is from Jacksonville, all right, and so. He's a huge like they're all they're all dead in the good place. So he's like thinks that Blake Bortles is the best player in the world. So like and that's just the joke is that's that this guy dude. thinks that Blake Bortles is the best player because he's an idiot. Right. Uh, and he's like Blake Bortles. <laughs> <laughs> like anytime they like he just screams Blake Bortles and it's become like a big meme and like it's gone on to uh, um. Barstool taking it. But um, <laughs> yeah. So I I imagine if if he wins one with the Rams, right. there is, like because there was actually a joke that like. Uh, there was actually a joke because they're the whole thing is like the show's in the afterlife and they sent them back to Earth mm -hmm. like uh, to see how they would how they would like do if they had another chance. Right. And they were like, You fucked up the timeline, the Jaguars are good now and like <laughs> <laughs> Like that like that's not supposed to happen. You you've gotta reverse this. <laughs> this is your <laughs> fault. <laughs> oh man. Uh well boys, I uh I have a little bit of a spicy take here. Uh -oh. I, I think it's a spicy take. I'm high on the Jags this year. I think they are. I listen. I don't think Foles is like a phenomenal quarterback. No, no I think no, no. he's not the money I, that they gave him. I no. think no. He's a stable I think, quarterback. I think he's serviceable. Sure, he'll be, he'll be good for three years before you draft another quarterback. But I think just like. It wasn't solely him in Philly that won him that title. Right. It was a phenomenal team around him. Right. I think the Eagles, the system, I mean, uh, yeah. the Jags are in a great system. Okay. If Fournette can stay healthy, they are a run because they are a run first offense. Yes. Yep. And if that run opens up the game for, for uh, Foles, I think it's there. I think their defense is the best of any of the teams in this, in this division. Okay. And I have the Jags at 10 and 6. I okay. think this could be the Jags here. I think with the Colts sliding, because like I said, you would have asked me a week ago, I had the Colts a shoe in. But the way things are happening now, I think it's gonna be up there. I think the Jags are taking the division yeah. this year. To me, they're uh it's gonna rely on which receivers step up. They've that got too. Marquise Lee, who, you know, is is a good wide receiver, but right. got hurt like in week one last year. Yeah, yeah. Um they've got DJ Chark Jr., who they drafted last year in like the second or third round. Keelon Cole. Uh, and then uh, I can't believe I'm saying this, but Terrell Pryor Sr., who's still in the NFL, yeah, yeah, uh, like him, and then Dee Westbrook. So those are the five. Who's going to step up there? Somebody has to. Yeah, you know? because yeah. otherwise, yeah. otherwise he d Foles doesn't have any yeah. weapons to throw yeah. to. But, uh, but who's their who's their tight end? Is it still Mercedes Lewis? Uh, it might be because oh, I don't I don't think they have much. Well, of they any. have Jeff Swain now. Oh yeah, Jeff Swain. Yeah, I don't know if they who else they have. Feel no pain with Jeff Swain. That's what they <laughs> yeah, yes. Jeff Swain. Okay. But I think, because uh, that was the thing, too, is they were so injury-ridden last year with, like, Fournette barely playing in and out. It was but all TJ Yeldon. Marquise Lee was out for, like, the whole season. Yeah, yeah. That's, like, two key parts of their offense right. out. Didn't they have Chris Ivory also? 
no, they no, did. Yeah. No, no, well, like no, was, no, he was with the Bills last no. year. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeldon was mostly backing up for yeah. that. Yeah, Yeldon played a lot last year. Yeah. Um, Big fantasy guy last year. Yeah, uh, because yeah, Fournette, for, like, like Fournette might be like, like this actually like, not any like joke or hyperbole or anything like. This is like a make or break year for Fournette. Yes. Oh yeah. His rookie season, he Phenomenal. was electric. Last year, he had off the field issues, uh, behavior issues, like mm-hmm. apparently, like apparently, just an awful fucking teammate, uh, and the co- and yeah. was. You know, back and forth with coaches. He he and Marone do not see eye to eye apparently, and then he was injured all season. Did so, he get drafted before McCaffrey? Yeah, he was drafted fourth overall. Yeah, so I mean, yeah. McCaffrey's looking like the better yeah. talent right now. Yeah. So this is a make or break season. Like this could be the the guy's career, honestly. Yeah, yeah. So oh yeah, now he'll be yeah. entering his uh, contract year after this. Yeah, he's another one of those guys where like just talking fantasy. I really don't want to take unless he falls. Yeah. Right. Like, in the, like if right. he's there in the first round, I'm not. I'm not. No, no I'm not taking him. No. If, I, if, if he falls to the third round, I'll be Maybe. like, all right, yeah. I'll take Leonard Fournette. Yeah. yeah. My whole thing is like first round and even second round, I don't want risk. No. I will. I don't. You know no. what I mean? He is not a player. That's why, dude. Last year, guy before me takes Le'Veon Bell. I was. I picked five. He yeah. picked four. I'm like, why are you taking Le'Veon Bell? Yeah. Like I. I Zeke Elliott fell into my lap because yeah. this guy took Le'Veon Bell, like, who shit. was having a lot. Who was having like a how many. Like, I guess I guess the guy's like, oh, he's d- don't worry, he'll come back, and then he. No yeah. one holds out the yeah. whole season. <laughs> you, you see it every year where morons draft their yeah. fantasy teams in like week two of preseason. Yeah. What schmuck took Andrew Luck this year? OJ like Simpson. Simpson did. <laughs> did he? Yeah, yeah he made hilarious. yeah he made a video like Andrew Luck. What did I do to you? Why are you gonna do that? I just picked you an hour ago, and I'm like I'm like yeah. Well, why do you do it in the middle of preseason? You fucking idiot. Because <laughs> well, he do it after week. He's been in the world this this whole time. Time. He doesn't know so <laughs> like cues. I have never done a fantasy draft other than the day before Labor Day. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, I can understand yeah. maybe this week because starters do not play. Sure, yeah. But, like, still, you don't know. Like, There's still shit that happens. Exactly. Zeke Elliott is holding out right now. We, dude, we... Antonio Brown might not fucking play because there's a fuck. He, he can't pick a goddamn helmet. We do uh, our... He's done with that shit. No, he still hasn't picked a goddamn helmet. Oh, my God. We do our draft, like, right... Usually that weekend after preseason week four, right before the season starts... Right. And we had the same thing, but it wasn't. It didn't come out yet. Right. He, my friend, drafted Le'Veon Bell, and then it came out the next day, like that morning, uh-huh. that he was not going to play. And out, we were yeah. like, "Fuck!" Yeah. But he had Connor, and it worked out for him. He That's drafted what, Connor as yeah. a handcuff. Yeah. That's what you have to do. You have yeah. to yeah. handcuff. But um, but uh, a lot yeah. of people are going to be taking Tony Pollard this year. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Right now. Oh yeah. Oh, His yeah. stock has jumped through the roof. Yep. He's like a. He'll be a second ten- overall. Tony right now Pollard, he's, baby. Right now he's a, he's probably like a borderline ninth, tenth round pick. Yeah. So let me was, ask you, where where you want David Johnson this year? Uh, if 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 he can, if um, what's Aper. his name? Uh, Kyler Murray. Or? No, what's the fucking new coach's name? I can't oh, remember. Cliff, Cliff Kingsbury. Cliff Kingsbury. Yeah, if he can K-K-K-K use him in the K-K-K system the way he's supposed to be used, uh, even unlike what Wilkes did last year. If you watch like a couple of his preseason snaps, he does not look like he's had the explosiveness that no. he had like two years ago. Well, no. he's always injured. You have to wonder so. if it's even yeah, there he had anymore. the injury, yeah. but like. As well, last season, Wilkes just did not use the guy in his yeah. system the way yeah. that he's supposed to be used. But even just looking at him this year, he does not look like he has no. it. Well, I mean, maybe maybe he's going to kick it up week one. They, I don't know. But the, right the, now, the Cardinals I'm, have I'm been not. saying that they have not been showing the playbook they're going to be running throughout yeah. the season. Okay. Which I feel yeah, like but you don't need to show that to have yeah. your running back fucking right. find a hole. But, yeah. <laughs> but I also feel like <laughs> this is the playbook, and they're like, we just suck. Yeah, exactly. Like, this is not going to be good. Also, I think Kyler Murray is going to be a bust. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I know we're not on the West, but I think Kyler oh, Murray's yeah, going to yeah. be bust. I had a, I had a, uh, guys, I guys, have, guys, I had a pretty good four. scouting run to like, <laughs> <laughs> Kyler Murray against uh, the Jets one time. <laughs> no, the guy's the guy's too fucking short. He's going to get annihilated behind the worst line. line well, that league. doesn't help. He's going to get murdered. Yeah. Now, let me ask you, because we were talking about um, Blake Bortles. Like, you know, obviously he left his team. Ryan Tannehill left the Dolphins. Yeah. Do you think these guys are looking at the Colts situation and thinking, like, man, maybe I should have waited? No. You don't think so? No, I feel. I feel like you don't think the Colts would have like handed the bag to like to like Bortles nope. or Tannehill? Tannehill. No, I don't think so. I think they would have. They would have stuck with Brissett. Yeah. I think like you could definitely see the Colts making a move by the trade deadline. Okay. So like I, I made a joke on our Twitter like. Oh, uh, Bradford comes back. <laughs> <laughs> well, Brissett honestly is a guy that the Colts have refused to move. Right. Yeah. Uh, it recently, they really so like him. They really yeah, last, they believe last him, season. Yeah. Last season, several teams offered them a two. Yeah. And they said no. They said we're not moving him at all. Well, not for uh, nothing. While yeah. this is new to us, I'm sure 
behind the scenes with Andrew Luck. Oh, they, yeah. They've known something well, was going the, on. Probably. The old adage well, is no one knows you better than your team. Yeah. Yeah. So they probably knew. Also, uh, f- just to go back on it, because I actually forgot about it, but to uh, for fans that are saying that like Luck abandoned the team and like is doing this for himself, he actually did this before a window opened where he would have gotten a big bonus and right. they like... He yeah. saved the team money by doing it now. Yeah, and I'm sure yeah. they've known about it. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. He was trying to come, yeah, he was trying to come back from a neck injury, and he's not making any progress. Yeah, so he would have just he would have started the season on this on the bench anyway. Right, like he he would have yeah. probably played maybe week five. They were thinking. Yeah. Uh, oh, so, yeah. you got to give your record on the Jags. Oh, sure. What did Jags? you say for the Jags? I said eight and eight because I what don't. What did you say? I, don't I said you ten and six. Ten and six. I'm saying nine and seven. Okay, we're all, all right. we're, we're, we're in the middle of yeah. everything. I think. Yeah. This year, uh, if they if they don't if the Jags don't make the playoffs, I think Marone is fired. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I agree. They'll yeah. definitely move on. They'll they'll uh, they'll try to make some trades to get higher up in the draft. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I think yeah. I don't think they so, take. I don't. Th- I don't think they draft the new quarterback until next season. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, Foles was signed for three years. I don't think he's lasting the three years. Yeah. Like a- as the starter, at least you know who's uh, who's left carrying McVay's bags. That's going to be the new Jags coach. <laughs> <laughs> You think they're going to get a uh, pullback guy? Yeah. Is he going to be the new coach? <laughs> he's gonna be, he's gonna be sexy. He doesn't even have a name. It's just he's pullback gonna, guy. He'd be perfect for Jacksonville, though. Yeah. Oh, they'd love him. Oh, he's pulling. Jacksonville and Buffalo. Yeah. Those are like, that's where, yeah. <laughs> we still have to try to schedule our pick last Bills Mafia yeah. crossover. Yeah. 2020. It's going to happen. Uh, Brian, if I may look at your, uh, to do the rundown here for where we're at. Um, I put stars next to our division winners. Okay, I see what you did here. All right, so uh, I'll, I'll start with me. I'm on the top of the list. So I have the Jags taking the division, 10-6. and six. Uh, You have two T's here. So Titans I, and Texans. I'm just trying to remember which one's which. So I think I Texans have the Texans. and the Titans. The Texans, 9-7, and seven, second place. Colts, 8-8, eight and eight, third. And I have the Titans last, 7-9. and nine. Real close division. Yep. A game between each. Uh, going on to Brian, he's got Texans taking the division, 11-5, and five, followed by the Colts, 9-7. and seven. The Jags eight and eight, and the Titans six and ten. Chris has the Colts one in the division eleven and five. Um, the Jags nine and seven, and then you got the Titans eight and eight, and the Texans seven and nine. Mm-hmm. So we are all over the fucking yeah. board. We each have a different divisional winner. Oh yeah, Bill O'Brien's getting fired. Oh yeah, they go seven yeah. and nine. Then Bill, Him and Bill O'Brien, yeah, they're get both fired. out the yeah. door. Yeah, yeah. I could see actually uh, this year uh, if a lot of coaches don't. I could see. I thought both of them were going to be out the door this year. So did I. Yeah. I, I don't I, know yeah. how Bill O'Brien still is. Yeah, yeah. Because his son was handicapped. But just, yeah. Well, remember Hard Knocks when I was like, oh Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Also, Jesus, because man. It's, it seems like by default when the entire division sucks that the Texans make the playoffs. Yeah. Yeah. Like they always yeah, sneak they, in they, a wild they, card they weekend. Yeah, they they would make the playoffs, game. but like guys got like what two playoff wins to show for yeah. it, and like that's why they get to the wild card and then they get their ass kicked. Yeah. They're basically the seagulls of the AFC, where they'd be like just eat garbage all season. <laughs> like, yeah, we, we could still survive. Yeah, we're here. We, yeah. <laughs> we did this. Like, what are you gonna do about it? <laughs> they're they're like the Bengals of the South. They'll make a run in the wild card, and then they'll lose Bill in the wild O'Brien card. Bill O'Brien is just yeah. an anagram for Marvin Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> he pulls um, off his mask. It was me the whole time. <laughs> it was me, Bill. <laughs> and the Texans get Hugh Jackson. Yeah. Cool. Oh God. <laughs> Uh, yeah. NFC South. NFC South. Well, I mean, we got we got halftime. Anybody oh, got halftime. anybody oh, got takes? Right. I forgot about halftime. Yeah. Okay. We gotta get some takes in there. Takes. I mean, I know we were talking movies before, but oh, okay. that's kind of your shtick. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I don't wanna. Uh, anyone eat any wild fast food lately? I had Moe's today. Food. Did you? Yeah. I haven't had Moe's in a long time. Moe's is good. So are we all Moe's over Chipotle, guys? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Moe's yeah. is fantastic. That's a good take. That's Moe's good is take. the official burrito supplier. Have, you, have, you, have either of you guys done the Popeye sandwich? No. Everybody's going crazy. Yeah, but the apparently sandwich. they're sold out. Yeah. Yeah. Can, I've been eating Popeye's for like years. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I was like, it's yeah, it's good chicken. Yeah. Why is everyone <laughs> now? <laughs> like it's, it's still good chicken. Yeah. Like I haven't had the sandwich. No, me neither. Yeah. But, uh, Same chicken. It's like it's like they're beefing with like Chick Fil A, and I'm just, yeah. just like, of all things you can fu- do, yeah. who cares? Yeah, who the fuck cares? I, I it's loved, like this is what they want. I loved, yeah, I loved Wendy's chiming in like, uh, y'all fighting over who has the second best chicken sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy's like, listen, a, Wendy's is a fucking like like the nastiest twin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love Wendy's. You are a distant third for like chicken. <laughs> I'd go to in between those two. And then uh, I really I, I didn't try yet, but the uh, KFC is that Beyond. Chicken now? Oh, or really? I think it's I think it's only in Atlanta. I think it's gonna be a thing. But yeah, they're doing You'd like think Beyond Chicken. They started chicken. in Kentucky, but whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but apparently, it's sold out in like five hours. Beyond wow. Chicken. Uh, yeah, yeah. So was it Snake? Was it like probably. Mm. 
Uh, no, I've, I've I think that's the same thing. The Impossible Whoppers. I've had the Impossible snake Whopper. Meat? Yeah, 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 yeah snake meat. Snake. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone thinks it's vegan. It's just snake. <laughs> it's just human. They yeah. just cut up that human. <laughs> We're all just cannibals. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's like um, because soil like green, you know. Obviously, we're going down to Florida soon, and we have dinner booked at uh, the Coral Reef restaurant. Mm. Ooh. Uh, never eaten there, but apparently it's oh, like the whole aquarium around you. Oh, I've, yeah, eaten, yeah. I've eaten there. It's and, pretty cool. Uh, yeah. I don't know how I'm gonna feel eating seafood surrounded by fish watching me eat just, seafood. Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> just right in front of me. <laughs> this could be your mother. <laughs> <laughs> it's like rip into it. <laughs> One of the fish is like, anybody seen Henry? Yeah. <laughs> get. Henry? <laughs> it's, like, it's like up against it's, it's, it's so sad. <laughs> it's so snapple commercial. It's like, whoa, this tastes like duck. <laughs> it's, it's the very awkward Finding Dory scene. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, I made restaurants. This other place, it's called like... Uh, the Golden Corral? Uh, dude, I wish. <laughs> I went there I went there once before that nasty video came out. I don't oh. know if you ever saw that oh, video. Oh, they have like all their food in the... Like, the dumpster. It's like in the back. Yeah. Yeah. They, got, they had like the track of all the... Like all the, the tray uh -huh. of all their ribs and stuff. Uh -huh. And the guy was like, yeah, it's just, just out here chilling. It's like just sitting... It was literally like on the tray next to the, the dumpster. Yeah. And he's like, hey, you know, just want to let you all know what you're eating when you come to Golden Corral. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, this guy probably doesn't work here anymore. <laughs> But, um, or now he's the, like the manager of all golden corrals. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you guys, where's you got your ribs? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we made uh, reservations. This place called Home Cooking, mm -hmm. and it's like Southern food. And I oh. looked at the menu, and the first thing I saw was like country fried chicken and like oh. maple donuts, oh. like as a combo meal. I was like, this Hell is yeah. my this is my birthday oh. dinner. Yeah, book it. Oh, well, anything that says country fried is always it's, fantastic. Yeah. And then uh, fried shoe is fantastic. I think I think it's quick service, but I want to go there. Guy Fieri has a restaurant. Oh, really? It's like a quick service like chicken place. And I, I just saw they have a big wall that says Flavor Town. And I'm like, I want to I want to go here and eat. <laughs> Fast flicking chicken. Baby, let's get it going. <laughs> also, apparently it's Guy Fieri. Oh That's yeah, it's Guy Fieri. Yeah, I always yeah. say I didn't. Fieri. Yeah, it's Guy Fieri. Guy Fieri. Yeah. Yeah. Guy Fieri. <laughs> so yeah. I don't, know, I don't have any other food takes going on right um, now. I'm trying to think of a food take here. Food take? Um, Sweet potato gnocchi from Trader Joe's is pretty banging. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. If anybody wants to try it. I, I haven't been to Trader Joe's in a minute. It's, it's not bad. It's just like, I feel like if there was one, like, here, right. like, I'd go. Right. Like, I feel like I have to drive, like, 15, 20 like, minutes yeah, to the, one. The I'm closest, I, don't want I think the closest one here is by Roosevelt Field Mall. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. And it's know, just I like, I don't want to go that far to grocery shop. How did you just pronounce that? What? Which one? The mall? Roosevelt Field? Roosevelt. 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 The man's, man's name is Roosevelt. Teddy Roosevelt. <laughs> yeah. Teddy Roosevelt. 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 <laughs> Roosevelt. <laughs> Ooh, hot take here. <laughs> Pronunciation. Let game. us know at Pick Last Pod. Is it is Roosevelt, Roosevelt or Roosevelt? Roosevelt. I, don't, I don't know how you're going to type that. It ain't fucking <laughs> Roosevelt. <laughs> I don't know how you're going to answer that in <laughs> text poll. It's three O's, a V, and an S. Yeah. Uh, message us on Tout and record, <laughs> <laughs> record you saying Roosevelt or Roosevelt. Andrew, where do you stand on this? Roosevelt. It's Roosevelt. Yeah. yeah. Roosevelt. Okay. Roosevelt. It's not Roosevelt. Yeah. Roosevelt. I understand that it's spelled Rue, but the man's name is pronounced Roosevelt. <laughs> have, you ever, have you ever heard you any kind of speech where they go, ladies and gentlemen, President of the United States, Teddy Roosevelt. <laughs> they don't go Roosevelt. <laughs> Roosevelt. <laughs> Franklin Roosevelt. Delano Roosevelt. <laughs> Roosevelt. And his wife, Eleanor Roosevelt. <laughs> Roosevelt. No. Not it. It's, <laughs> it, it's, it's it. I mean, it's uh, not it. You can say it how you want to say it. I'm going to say it how I, I I'm, say I'm it. I'm going to say how I want to say it because that's the way that it's Look, said. If Teddy Roosevelt wants to come out and say something, <laughs> he can come and find me. I'm not that hard to find. Uh, not a food take, but I will say um, we're all throwing money at Disney Plus, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently, like, if you sign up early, it's like four dollars a month. Oh wow! Is that uh, for brother? everybody? Because I saw there was like a it was like a weird like D twenty three thing. Because that's like some paid Disney fan membership or something. Mm. My brother, and then they got like a deal on it. He just sent me something about it. Uh, hold on, let me see. But, but like, no, yeah, I think I don't know. I think Disney's they're just gonna get your money. That's all it is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was already sold from like Mandalorian, all the Marvel shows totally. that are coming, all that. Totally. And then I was like, they're doing like a like a a Muppet show, which is also looks oh, pretty yeah. cool. Mm. Like. Fucking fuck yeah! Like do something with the Muppets. They had that one show that like I didn't see, but I thought it looked pretty cool. That got canceled, where it was more like adult oriented, oh, okay. like Muppets. Um, no, I, I they're I bringing it. back. It's all right. Yeah, I, I want. I'll, I'll probably try to find it. I still yeah. want to check it out because uh, like the Muppets are underrated in 2019. I feel like you don't see enough love for the Muppets these days. You never see enough love for them. Yeah, they were even the Jason Segal movie. I felt like just 
No, I feel like nobody yeah, talks. It's just kind of. What? Is it Jason Siegel? Siegel. Yeah. Siegel? Jason Siegel. Jason Siegel. 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 You never Siegel. hear. Siegel. You never hear. President of the United States, <laughs> Jason Siegel. <laughs> um. Uh, how do you feel, Andrew? Yeah. Yeah. Well, fuck you guys. <laughs> you say it how you say it. I'm gonna say it how I say it. Um. Uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, yeah, the Muppets. When I went to Disney last, which was twenty seventeen, uh, I did. Or, or is that Universal? No, Disney has Disney. the uh, the Muppets. Has yeah. the Muppets yeah. right? Yeah. They did a real good job giving me a nice nap. Oh yeah. Oh the Muppets. Oh yeah. The, the Muppets is, 2D experience. Yep. What, what it's what the I same show. It, like, yeah, yeah. I had a real nice nap because the Muppets <laughs> suck. Well, that's, that's a hot. That's day. my problem. Is that they haven't updated that shit yeah. in like. 20 years so like they do the gag where like the wall breaks in the background yeah. and then it's like 80s Disney World uh-huh. where there's like people in like 80s clothing it's with, a like, little updated is it? they like refilmed it yeah I was there two years ago and I was like this is boo this needs something it wasn't 80s stuff it, they refilmed it. I, no. Yeah. Then again, you know, I people still you. wear clothes from the 80s. I don't know. <laughs> well, I promise you. I'm going in like three, two, three you'll weeks. Me, I'll let me. you yeah. know. Maybe I'm making it up. Maybe I was asleep I'll and like, I was I'll like it. secretly yeah. Snapchat. <laughs> from my, I'll put like the glasses lens yeah. over my camera. Yeah. You Muppet They're hell. Like, you <laughs> Muppet, I'm going to Muppet hell. Like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, what was I going to say? I was going to say something before. Uh, about this. Oh, um, with Tom Holland uh, at D23. Yeah. He uh, he was there for the uh, that that Pixar movie that he's in. Oh, um, onward. Onward, yeah. yeah. He was there for the panel, and uh, and afterward he said, uh, "Look, this week has been uh, has been very crazy, and I just want to say that uh, I, I want to thank you all for all the love and support. I love you three thousand. Uh, he, he was actually off. at yeah. uh, the Keystone Comic Con, I think, down in Philly. Yeah. And the uh, the people running the panel go, "Listen, I know you want to talk about it. I know you want to bring up questions, but." If you bring up, he, he cannot answer any questions about Spider Man because it could ruin future negotiations. Yeah. yeah. So please do not ask him about yeah. Spider Man. So yeah. the first question was, so how long are you going to keep playing Spider Man for? He's like, I don't I, fucking I can't know. I answer that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Which is finally good that he's not spoiling right. shit. <laughs> well, if, oh, well, I got two more movies on my contract. <laughs> so Kevin just texted me. He said, keep it up, kid. If, uh, if anything speaks volumes in 2019, he unfollowed Sony on Instagram. Yeah. So. Hmm. Big move. Also, at D23, I don't know who did it, but they kept it there for the whole weekend. Mm-hmm. Somebody had, like, a framed photo of Tom Holland as Spider-Man, <laughs> yeah. and they put it up with, like, candles around yeah. it. <laughs> they appara- um, apparently, Avengers Campus in California has, like, a whole section just for Spider-Man. It has a Spider-Man ride. It has yes. a Spider-Man, like, whole thing. Well, because that is still fine. Because, yeah. on, obviously, if they're announcing that, like, negotiations are set already. Well, I think theme park rides are different than films. Yes, yes it is. Yeah. Because, um... That's the reason they can't do it in Florida is because Universal has like their yeah. superhero land, which is like so fucking outdated because yeah. they can't they can't touch Island it. Island of Adventures, no. yeah. Uh, from what I hear, from like everything I hear, they'd be willing to negotiate like selling it back. Ex- but apparently, the CEO of Comcast fucking hates Bob Iger. Mm. So apparently, <laughs> if it was somebody else, he'd be like more willing to negotiate right. like selling that back. Right. Because now you look at Universal and it's like they own. Um, Marvel now. Right. They own Simpsons now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They have that whole Simpsons land. Yeah. yeah. And it's just like half your park is just gonna be fucking Disney. Right. <laughs> How long until they're just like we want to buy Harry Potter? <laughs> it's like listen, we'll um, just buy Universal. <laughs> like it's just yeah, like they Fast and the Fury. Everything's gonna be Fast and Furious. <laughs> <laughs> I, I to back to the the whole Marvel and uh, Sony thing. Well, the Disney and Sony thing. Like I completely get Sony's stance. Oh, oh like, me too. Spider Man is like their biggest. Thing like mm-hmm. Far From Home was just their highest grossing movie ever. Yep. Like yeah, they, yeah. I, the, I, I'm, I'm like I'm not letting go of that for for no, nothing. And they, you know? and they, I don't think they got anything for any time he's been in an Avengers no. movie. So yeah, I mean, yeah. Just throw, um, throw and him like like I was saying in one of our group chats, I was like, I'm a huge Disney guy, mm-hmm. and even I think like Sony's the good guys here because they're yeah, like, I completely. This is our yeah. property. Like I feel like Disney's trying to strong arm them and be Absolutely. like, yo, give it to us. Absolutely. And they're just kinda like, no, fuck you. Yeah, they're, yeah. They're like, there's gonna be thousands of people out of a job if yeah. you take Spider Man. Also, us. Mm-hmm. I would be pretty annoyed if it went one way or the other because I want another fucking Spider Verse. Right. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I still want that shit. Yeah, so I think what's going to happen now because Sony's looking to launch like their own streaming service, like yeah. Disney and everything mm-hmm. like that. I think what will probably happen if they renegotiate is that any Spider-Man show they'll be like, okay, we'll put it on Disney Plus, but you give us all the fucking money for it. Yeah, uh, you give us like, and if they want to keep them in an Avengers movie, you got to give them at least five percent of the box office. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think I think they'll work it out before yeah. before the next Spider-Man comes out. Yeah. I, I I think they'll work it out. Tom Holland's gonna be forty-five. Like, okay, kid, yeah. you're back in the game. <laughs> Ah, oh, Jesus. Fuck. 
Well, I mean, Sony's still Sony's still making those two Spider-Mans no matter what. Yeah. It's just not... Uh, as of right now, it's just not going to be connected yeah. to the MCU at all. You're going to get a Spider-Man versus Venom film. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. And yeah. everyone's yeah. going to go crazy for it. Yeah. So. But... It's going to be this really sad town. All right, Venom. <laughs> I, I just, guess we could fight. I just really don't want a fourth Spider-Man. Like, I... I, I, cause I always, you don't want a fourth reboot. Yeah. Yeah, no. Because yeah. I always said, like... I'd be pissed if I was a Batman fan because it's like a revolving door. Yeah. And I'm yeah. like, it's, you feel like you can't get attached to one person as Batman because right. it's always changing. And like, as Peter Parker, it's like, well, we've seen Toby now. We've seen Andrew Garfield. Yeah. We've seen Tom Holland. It's like, yeah. enough. I think Tom Holland's the best one. Yeah, me too. So, yeah. I always said, I was like... And these, I, these two movies, I think, are the best, are the yeah. two best Spider-Man movies. I thought Toby was a great well, Peter Parker. Well, you know what? I take it back. It's no Amazing Spider-Man 2. It is not. Yeah. <laughs> where uh, they built up the Sinister Six and they were like, all right, we're not making these anymore. <laughs> you but, guys want to well, see an Aunt May prequel? Yeah. I always Let's said uh, P- they, uh, Toby was a great Peter Parker. Yes, I felt was. Garfield was a be- great Spider Man. Yeah. And Tom Holland, Holland is, is just a great both. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, I like Spider Man 2, the original Spider Man 2. Uh, Spider Man 2 Doc is, Doc, is yeah. good. I rewatched it recently and it is fucking corny. It does not oh, hold no, up. Oh, no, yeah. Oh, that's yeah, the whole, up at all. That's yeah, the whole yeah. thing. Like, it's this pre, like commercialization of yeah. comic book movies where yeah. instead of like oh it's this template you follow it it's more of like <laughs> oh, it's a fucking com- like Sam Raimi like yeah. just said fuck it it's a comic let's just yeah. go nuts and, yeah. I, yeah. and I like that whole like it's bigger than everything else but, uh, that, that, those movies were like my introduction to superheroes by the yeah. way that's a, a kid that, watching that's a Hall of Fame movie in the Movie Mayhem podcast uh, hmm. the Raimi yeah, yeah the Raimi yeah. one yeah. Um, but uh, back to yeah Amazing Spider-Man 2 remember how they made a big deal about uh, Paul Giamatti as Rhino and he's in the movie for like three minutes. Yeah, yeah. Like Dennis Leary's character, who died in the first movie, has more screen time than Paul Giamatti yeah. in that yeah. movie. <laughs> I, I'll be honest, I did like the guy a lot who played uh, uh, Harry Osborne in that. Dean DeHaan? Yeah. I disagree. I really? Yeah. I, I didn't mind I feel him. like he was in a different movie. Yeah. <laughs> he was just yeah, like, yeah, I need your yeah. voice, like, Spider Man. I'm this dark, brooding character. <laughs> <laughs> I got told five days I got sick and now I'm sick. Oh no. <laughs> it took my dad 40 years to die. Everything was very rushed. <laughs> well, then again, I haven't, I haven't seen it since it was in theaters. Right. So it if was I watched not it again, I'd probably be like, who oh, boy? Yes. But at the very, time, I was like, the, I don't the mind one it. thing done very well is Gwen Stacy's death. Yes. Yeah. That she smacked. Yeah. She's like, oh fuck! <laughs> she smacked her head and did not explode. On contact. <laughs> I don't know if she's lived. Oh, her fucking brain's leaking out the back of her. Did skull. you see? Uh, also, well, I don't think she smacks the ground. She does. No, no, I don't think so. I think it's like the the web like snaps oh, yeah. her back. It does. Yeah. yeah. It does did the... you see that Emma Stone's going to be playing Cruella Deville? Yes. Yeah. That looks really so cool. So the picture, I, yeah. I like it. Yeah, yeah, it looks really cool. I'm also. I hope they do more of those remake things on Disney Plus. Like, yeah. Lady and the Tramp is perfect on Disney+. Yeah. Plus. I don't need to see that I'm in not theaters. seeing that in yeah. theaters, no. Like, Lion King or Aladdin, you got me. Okay, yeah, I'll but, go. uh, um, yeah, with Cruella DeVille, and also the the fat one, the fat, like, henchman. From My Tanya. Dude, from My Tanya. He's so good. He's great. He's, so, he's fucking saw, great, yeah. When I saw that picture, Put him in I looked at I was like, he's, Put him in fucking everything. He's gonna be in the <laughs> yeah. Clint Eastwood movie about Richard Jewell, the, uh, Atlanta. Seriously? Yeah, about the Olympic, Atlanta the Olympic bomber. The dude's killing it. What, yeah. what else was he in, actually? Oh, recently, too. He was in, um, I saw him in something, I was like, I Tanya got <laughs> we have to talk about the Saints, guys. We have to get to the Saints. <laughs> well, real quick, I was going to add. I don't know if do you remember the old school uh, Aladdin and Lion King games. Yes. Uh, apparently, it's all but confirmed that they're like rem- they're like putting them out again mm. for like PS4 you and Switch. See, and like, oh, he was one, sorry. He was one of the racists in uh, Black Klansman. I guess still have to see yeah. Black. Klansman. Oh, it's so good. I have it. I own it. it I just haven't watched it. Uh, there, if if you want to see like somebody do like a fun playthrough of both those games. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Sunday Movies does like a thing called Caravan of Garbage mm-hmm. yeah. where they go through like old movies yeah, and games. Yeah. It's fucking hysterical. They're, they're too great. I'll too check great. it out. Okay. There's a there's another great channel too that I've that I've uh, found recently. It's called Angry Video Game Nerd. Have you guys seen this stuff? That's cinematic. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, Chris sit down. <laughs> I got some things to tell you. So he like there's this one epic one on the Ninja Turtles that he does. It's y- you got to see it for yourself. <laughs> All right, I didn't know you watched <laughs> All right, jeez. No. All right, wait, fun. so wait, he's the new thing now? Who? Uh, Angry Video Game Nerd? He's Cinem- 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 Cinemassacre? Cinemassacre now, yeah. yeah. So now he doesn't talk about video games, he talks I about bad movies? I think he still does He, he doesn't, oh, okay. yeah, he just expanded But it's his. like a new channel. Oh, yeah, it's I got you, I got you. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's talk about the Saints. Let's talk about the Saints. All right, Who's so uh, 
The Wait, Saints. That's who. Who, yeah, who dat? Yeah, who dat? That's that. That was a good halftime. I think it was 15 yeah. minutes. Yeah, yeah. Real halftime. I mean, to be okay. to be <laughs> fair, we kind of blazed through the AFC. Yeah. So I feel like <laughs> <laughs> just well, like AFC is the most boring division yeah. in football. We have like so, no yeah. news of the yeah. week, so we just kind of went right into it. We yeah. finished like two teams. I'm like, we're 15 minutes into the episode. I was like, the fuck are we doing? Oh, wait. Speaking of the uh, the Disney thing, so I told my brother sent me it's the we're on the Saints now. I'm sorry. It's no, the, the pre-order is less than four dollars a month if you are in the D23 fan yeah. club. So he's like, yeah, I know, I joined it. I'm like, sweet, let's go to D23 next year. So I think we we're can talk to about Disney and the Saints. So oh, when the Saints yeah. come marching in, <laughs> oh, when the Saints come marching here's, here's in. Here's a good one. What theme park is this football team? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, the Saints, who arguably should have went to the Super Bowl last yeah, year. Yeah, I'd say so. Um, I think they would have lost the losses, Super Bowl, but they definitely should have won. Of course, losing their number one wide receiver, Des Bryant. Ooch. No longer with the team. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Mark Ingram, gone. Ben Watson, gone. Alex Okafor, gone. Jay Bromley, gone. Kurt Coleman, Manti Teo, and Max Unger, Manti- all gone. Manti Teo? Yeah, oh. Manti Teo was on the Saints. I didn't even really know is, that. So is he on a new team now? Is he I don't know. I, he might, or is he catfishing everybody? He's a free agent. I'm going to take my shot as oh, a free agent. Oh, he's not catfishing people. He was catfished. I yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, I have not seen him on any of the lists. Unless he's on a team in the West. I just looked up. XFL, he's a free agent. baby. He's a free agent, yeah. yeah. Go to the XFL. Hell yeah. Well, uh, the fucking Titans could use some linebackers that aren't old men. Yeah, So maybe uh, maybe give Teo yeah. a call. Um, they, they've they added said linebackers, not doorstops. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> they've added uh, Latavius Murray, mm-hmm. Malcolm Brown, defensive tackle, Jared Cook, Mario Edwards Jr., and Nick East in the center. Yes. Jared uh, Cook, the tight end from the, that yeah. was on the Rams? He's on the no, no, Malcolm, Malcolm Brown. The, uh, oh, sorry, Jared Cook. Jared Cook, yeah. Yeah, but Malcolm Brown, they stole the defensive tackle from the uh, Patriots yes. there. Yes. Uh, and uh, yeah, they drafted uh, Lat Murray replacing Mark Ingram. So yeah, yeah. yeah. And you saw the Alvin Kamara who's going to just get all the touches. And Michael yeah. Thomas. Yeah, so, like yeah. They, they got they, their stars are there. And Taysom yeah. Hill, yeah. everyone's yeah. favorite backup yeah. quarterback. Stud. Um, and then they drafted uh, <laughs> second round Eric McCoy the center. And they didn't draft again until the fourth round. It was Chancey Gardner Johnson. Yeah, safety. safety for Florida. Okay. Yeah. Now Jared Cook, I think, is going to have a big season because yeah, with, that, with that with um, that their system. Uh, tight end always they always, always gets the yeah. ball. Yeah, Ben Watson a lot of those, like good for like the last three years. Yeah, he's ninety seven. A lot of those old. traditional pocket passers like really favor a tight end. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's as long as he can. He's another it, one. As long as he's it healthy. Was probably yeah, the, 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 worst. the Saints system has always favored a tight end. If you yeah, it was the worst thing for Jimmy Graham's career to leave the Saints. Absolutely. Yep. Like that yeah. killed his career Dude, immediately. Kobe Fleener had a good season. Yeah, like yeah. <laughs> keep it cleaner. Yeah. Draft Kobe. <laughs> um, yeah. No, I mean this is. Same team as last year to me, I think. Yeah, I'm very yeah. high on them. Yeah, same um, here. Do you think this is Drew Brees' last year playing football? Um, I think he's got an option for 2020. I think he takes yeah. it, and, that, and I think he finishes up in 2020. Do you think if he wins a Super Bowl this year, he's done? He might finish on a high note. Yeah. 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 I think that. But I then think that leaves him with Teddy Bridgewater, and if you've seen Teddy Bridgewater, who signed in the a one-year deal. Yeah, but if so you, he might be gone. If, you see, if you've seen Teddy Bridgewater in the preseason, he's fucking abysmal. Yeah. The guy sucks. Yeah. Why people still to this day are like, Teddy got hosed, Teddy deserves to be a starter. Like, what the fuck have you watched to tell me that Teddy Bridgewater deserves to be I a think starter? His white gloves, man. <laughs> I don't want to. I, hands. I don't want to say the injury was like a great thing to happen to him because it's really fucked up to say. I think. <laughs> I think financially it worked out <laughs> for him. <laughs> no, yeah, exactly. He's made more money as a backup. Yeah, yeah. than he'll ever make. Because as a starter. if he, I think if he had stayed a starter on the Vikings and that never happened, he, he wouldn't. Yeah, 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 right exactly, yeah, 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 he would have been exposed. Exactly. Yeah. So he had the year off. And he somehow got fucking fifteen million dollars from the Jets, and they were like, "We're gonna trade you to Again, the fucking say it's draft." Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? It's where you yeah. get drafted. Yep. So, um, yeah, I mean, I mean, they lost like some classic Saint players that you always associated, like Watson and Ingram, yeah. and Des Bryant. But, <laughs> right. but, um, yeah, like I, I still like, like I said, yeah, that one practice that he had with the Saints, he man, made everybody out. bought those Des jerseys. <laughs> like what? five minutes later, he was ready to go getting a, a fucking Des jersey. He I mean, said he was gonna get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's, right. he's like, I'm buying a Saint jersey, and then he like snapped his Achilles. Yeah, I'm not buying yeah. a Saint jersey. <laughs> um, but like. Drew Brees is going to be Drew Brees. They're going to be great this year. Yeah, um, yeah. I'm. I'm uh, I think with 12, 12 with, with Ingram being out, I think this makes Kamara more the number one without any question. Look, mm-hmm. yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. And with uh, Jared Cook, who is who was uh, fantastic for the Rams, I think he was with Oakland. He was with Oakland. Yeah. Oh, still. Either way, 
He was the only good thing in Oakland's offense last year. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. Uh, who am I confusing him with? Who's the tight end? I don't know who you for the Rams? the Rams. For the Rams, yeah. Why am I thinking he was on the Rams? I feel like the Rams have like a white guy. <laughs> I could be wrong Wait, about that. Wait, hold on. Did Jared Cook ever play for the Rams? Maybe that's I'm thinking like five years down the line. He did like years and years and years ago, though. Like Madden 2015, <laughs> something like that. Maybe that's Gerald what? Everett. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he did. He, he, he played for the Rams for. Uh, 2013 to 2015, so the time that I've still yeah, had my Madden years. games. I was going to say, to be fair, I typed he's in... Been, he's been, yeah, he went to the Packers and then the Raiders. <laughs> yeah. To so. be fair, probably a thing I shouldn't have Google searched, but Rams tight end. <laughs> <laughs> balls and tight the windows. second answer was Jared Cooks. <laughs> <laughs> probably um, something I will not Google again. Yeah, but, uh... I mean, this is the second year in a row where they're without Zach Strife, so they can only get better. Mm. Um, fuck him. Yeah. <laughs> so guy owes you dinner. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm not telling the story again. So uh, that's that. You know, the Saints are a great team, and uh, fuck Sean Payton. That guy's a yeah, piece of shit. Piece of shit. And uh, as much as I don't want Sean yeah, Payton yeah. to win a Super Bowl, <laughs> so you said I want your breeze. As, yeah. I said they're twelve and four. I'm saying thirteen and three. <laughs> I am also saying thirteen and three. <laughs> Woo! Wow. Watch I, them go like three and thirteen. Yeah, like, like, like holy shit! Like, like, like gonna draft a quarterback now. <laughs> Breeze is just like off a cliff this year. Yeah. Like, he just doesn't have it now. He's like, I passed the fucking yardage <laughs> record or whatever. <laughs> I can't throw the ball anymore. Um, he still needs to win an MVP. That's all it is. That's right. I don't think he's ever won an MVP. Nope. Mahomes stole it from him last year. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, that, that's another team. I feel like there's nothing else to really say. Like, no, Saints they are the didn't, Saints. Yeah, yeah, Saints are going to be the fucking Saints. I do think that the 49ers will steal a win from them. Ooh. Do you? Like, I think that'll be like kind of like a big upset win. Wow. Yeah. Like, there's always a few of those. Yeah, because yeah. it's, like, it's like late in the I have it because it, it's late in the season. I have them like just decimating the first half, and then they go. They loot. They they. I have them splitting with the Panthers, but sweeping everyone else. Maybe like the Rams, like last year, where they kind of petered yeah. out in those last I, few I, weeks. I see them going like, all right, well, it's the fucking Forty ers Who cares? Like, let's just because mm-hmm. classic next, trap game. Because yeah. the next week is the Colts, and if the Colts are actually good, they might be like, we don't have to go full force against these fucking idiots. Yeah. So it's because mm-hmm. they end kind of they end kind of tough with the Colts, Titans, and Panthers. Yeah. yeah. So you never know, because like the the. It could be tough, but I think the Niners will... Jimmy G will fucking sneak a win. Totally. Um, all right, so let's go to a team that might be a little more interesting to talk about, the Falcons. Okay. So, uh, of course, they have the new offensive coordinator, uh, Dirk Cotter, who was the offensive coordinator, like, fucking five years ago on that team. From, like, 2012 to 14, he was their offensive coordinator. Oh, they got rid of... So he's uh, back. They got rid of Steve Sarkeesian, the, yes. the drunk? Yeah, okay. they got rid of him. Good. So uh, some losses, uh, Bruce Irvin, Robert Alford, Tevin Coleman, Matt Bryant, Ryan Schrader, Angie Levitri, Ben Garland, and uh, Steve Sarkeesian. And they added a uh, little offensive line help, James Carpenter, Jamon Brown, who was a stud for the Giants yes, last he was. year. Uh, Adrian Claiborne, Alan Bailey, Luke Stocker, the tight end, and uh, the new offensive coordinator. Then they went and drafted uh, some more offensive line help in Chris Lindstrom and Caleb McCarry. Mm. Yep. Um, yeah, they they certainly addressed the addressed the line like like you said. Yeah. They added four offensive linemen yeah. this year. Mm-hmm. Um, so, to me, that's that's their main thing. But their defense is still uh, leaves a little bit to be desired. I would say so. Um, and. Uh, Julio Jones' health is going to be the uh, the big question of mark course. here. Of course. That's that you think seems Calvin Ridley steps thing. up? Um, From that, I like, do. One I do. I, game I think Calvin Ridley's a talented wide receiver, and I think he's. I think he'll step up. But uh, here's where uh, here's where that hot take that I was talking about comes into play. Wow. So uh, the and Falcons not that great of a city. <laughs> I think the Falcons stink. I have the Falcons starting zero and five. Whoa. And Dan Quinn gets fired at really? the zero and five mark. I have them losing to the Vikings, the Eagles, the Colts, an upset loss to the Titans, and a loss to, uh, in Houston. And, okay. And then uh, after the loss in Houston, Fucking straight to the moon. Yeah. In in the uh, and yeah. Then Connor takes over. They he... they say, "Hey, pal, don't even get on the fucking plane. You're gone." And then they f- they fire uh, they fire Dan Quinn and say find your own way home. Wow! And, uh, they say hey you know the Alamo is pretty close. Yeah. Why don't you go check <laughs> it out and just fucking leave him there? Yeah, and then uh, kick him off the like literally kick him out the plane yeah. doors, and then uh, fly away. He's gone. Yeah, they murdered him. Yeah, mm. 
Uh, oh and five start, eight and eight finish. Really? Yeah. Okay. So they come together. And like they come could, together and finish they eight. They come the together and finish eight and three. But yeah, zero and five start. Dan Quinn's gone. Uh, I think they also. have I don't a think bit this is a, a very good team. Really? Yeah. I think they have a, a bit of a rough start. I think uh, it's a lot of new offensive linemen, and it yeah. usually takes a little bit of time to mesh. Totally. Um, so I do think they get off to a rocky start. However, I think they end it on a positive note. I have them ten and six. Hmm. I think they possibly sneak into a wild card spot. I think a lot of problems last year were the offense with the coordinator. They've always been an extremely high-powered yeah. offense, and I think they're going to go back to that. Brian? I am leaning more towards Chris's side. Really? I think I don't like Dan Quinn. I think he should have been fired maybe last year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But since he has that Super Bowl cushion, uh, they gave him the extra year. Yeah, that Super Bowl cushion where he just stopped running the fucking ball when he was yeah. up 12 yeah. yeah. three. It was like 20 was minutes left in the working, game, yeah. and they're still fucking passing the ball, which yeah. made no sense. So I think... But they wanted. I think they wanted to give him another year, maybe come back. Yeah, well, they gave him too many fucking years because yeah. he yeah. should and be gone. And the team that had the, the championship hangover was the Falcons and not yeah. the Patriots. Yeah. But I think they do have a rough start of the season. I have them the first four games to see them going 2-2 two and two and then dropping three in a row, winning uh, against the Seahawks before the bye. Okay. And then they just suck the rest of the year. So I think they're 7-9. and nine. I think Dan Quinn ends his tenure there and uh, – Goes back as a defensive coordinator somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. So what? What do they finish? You said seven and nine. Seven and nine. Okay. Because he's a, he's a defensive guy, and his defenses have been terrible. Yes. So. Yeah. Very very like middle of the pack. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, I got him zero and five, and then I've got him going into the buy at two and six. Oof. So that's yeah. Zero and five. They'll win against the Cardinals, lose against the Rams, win against the Seahawks, going into the going into the buy. Uh, and if uh, yeah, Quinn Quinn gets fired uh, after week five. Uh, Dirk Coder takes over, and uh, finally becomes a competent head coach, yeah. and uh, takes him to takes him to a uh, a nice a nice eight and three uh, finish there to okay. end the season, and they end eight and eight. It'd be six and three. Uh, then. High yeah. note for next year. Well, well, no, well he'd take over week well, six. Well, no, yeah, but so if, be if, eight and three. Si- if they're two and six. Well, he's he's, he's taken over after week five. Two and week f- five, but he'd still have six, not eight, and he wouldn't have like an eight and three finish. Yes, he would. So he's the one that they win their first game with. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. I thought you... No. All right, never mind. I said, Dan, <laughs> I said Dan Quinn gets fired after week five at the 0 We're talking start. sports, not <laughs> math. <laughs> Get that shit out of here. So only Andrew's high on the Falcons. I'm high on the Falcons. I was super high on the Falcons last year. I learned my goddamn lesson. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Last, year, last year we came in here and I was like, hey, I guess I'm super high. I think I had him at like 14-2. and two. <laughs> And then... It was that the first high. time Chris was ever super high. <laughs> 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 Gotta say, bring it down. Finish seven and nine. Oof, oof. So, all right. What do we got next? The uh, we got the Panthers. Carolina Panthers. Speaking of teams that we're not high on, well, I am on the Carolina Panthers. Is Cam Newton really hurt? Booty scooting Cam Newton. Who the fuck knows? Because he's got well, a foot injury. They put him out there. And well, I will tell you that they've lost linebacker Thomas Davis, defensive end Julius Peppers, Ryan Khalil, Matt Khalil, Devin Funchess, and full safety Mike Adams. And they've added uh, Matt Paradis, I think is how you say it, center. Uh, Daryl Williams, Gerald McCoy, Bruce Irvin, Chris Hogan. Apparently he's in uh, yeah. Carolina now. And uh, Aldrick Robinson. And then they drafted uh, first round Brian Burns, second round Greg Little, and then third round Will Greer. They drafted uh, yeah, the quarterback. Yeah, backup quarterback. Yeah, yeah I um, I don't think Chris Hogan's going to work. I don't think he works no, anywhere else. No, I think he was a product, product of yeah. New England. Um, I was just making sure that Brian Burns wasn't the guy who had the movie made about him. No, no, diff- completely Banks. different. Yeah, completely, completely different. Uh, just making sure. Yeah, they, they just drafted Brian Burns, so that'd be a quick turnaround. <laughs> uh, that's a pretty impressive. What's this movie about? Ooh. Um, What's the accused, eh? <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, yeah, I, I kind of liked the Brian Burns pick and uh, the Greg Little pick. Was I think is strong um, to help the line out, but uh, this is a team that's like very bipolar. They're, they they mm-hmm. have never had a winning season two years in a row. Nope. Uh, they the last several years they go like winning season, losing losing season, winning season, losing season. Yeah, you don't know what Panthers you're yeah. getting. Well, this season I know what I know what we're getting. We're getting a winning season from the Panthers, you think baby. So. Yep. Fifteen and one. What do you have, Matt? Nine and seven. Nine and seven. Oh no, I'm sorry. Ten and six. Whoa. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> that's my Falcons. <laughs> See, for me, I look at it, and uh, I mean, going into the season right now, Cam Newton is nursing, uh, I think this is like the second injury on his, on his throwing yeah. shoulder, like right now, Yeah. and he's like, 30, he's entering his 30s, 
playing the style he does of being like a very mobile running quarterback. And again, and I, I think it's going to be start to yeah. And this can. is another another issue where this is a team that has never fucking protected him. Yeah, exactly. He's always played behind behind a pretty you know okay pretty, yeah. uh, offensive line. But it's also he's the style. Had, he's he also has. A st- he, yeah his style and he's, he's also, also had issues. better blocking blockers in the backfield than he had yeah. up front. So and, and uh, he's had issues with with injuries where the team has rushed him back onto the field. Yeah. Um, he's we he had a couple times last season where he like should have been in concu- concussion protocol, missed a play, and then was and then ran back out on the field. Mm-hmm. Th- th- like these teams are trying to kill these players. I, I I think the only person I have faith in on the Panthers' offense right now Christian is McCaffrey. Kiss McCaffrey. Yeah. Besides that, I, I don't yeah. think Cam. I think he's going to be have a very on and off year, injury prone. Yeah. And uh, I mean, is Will Greer going to back him up? He did not look good in preseason nope. at all. Yeah. Um. I, I had them at eight and eight, but even thinking about that now, I think that's too generous. Mm-hmm. I might go like six and ten. I do six not think. I do and, not think it's a Ron good year. Rivera loses his job. I think that's so. What I was. Thinking. I do not think it's a I, good year for the Panthers. Yeah, I think this is the end of Riverboat Ron. They might uh, not have two winning years in a row. I think they're going to have uh, two losing years in a row. Oh boy! <laughs> I, I think uh, this is it for Ron. I think they're going to. After this, they might go on a facelift mode. I think he buys himself another season. Wins a they Super have, Bowl. They have a tear at the end of the, at the end of the year. So like yeah. we're kind of like just opposite of like Falcons and Panthers. Yeah. Where I yeah. think like yeah, yeah. Oh, we're here. pretty. Uh, and here. it's and it's no reason to like for their roster at all. It's just like I I got a hunch. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hey man, sometimes you gotta yeah. go on those hunches. Yeah. you know what I mean. And now I remember so last year I had a hunch that I shouldn't play uh, Kirk Cousins week two and I should play. Uh, uh, well, who's uh, Tyrod Taylor? Uh-huh. That didn't work out for me. Nope. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> didn't work out for the Browns either. <laughs> so uh, now to round out the NFC South is those Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Those they got some good news today. They uh, found out that JPP was cleared to start rehab. Oh, they really? Did. So he's allowed to start That's working out. So they don't know when he's coming back, but he is allowed to start mm-hmm. like fixing himself. Okay. That is good news. Um, I will what, say what I guys like. Had a fucking hard luck. Yeah. Career, yeah. even though most of it's self inflicted. Yeah, it's it started out hot. He yeah. was young when he won the Super he Bowl, it, and then short fuse. Yeah. season he won the Super yeah. Bowl. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, so I, I don't know why I had the hardest time finding like an off season report on the Buccaneers. They didn't really add anybody. Yeah, out of, but yeah. out of like all the teams, usually there's like a like a Reddit write up or like I can go on yeah, a local yeah. site and find yeah, yeah. something. So I hope I did accuracy to this. If not, <laughs> like sorry. Um, so they lost uh, the punter Brian Anger. Uh, wide receiver Malik Taylor, Kerwin Williams, the running back, and Dan Godsill, the, the safety. That and was they the lost Ryan Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick, oh, Deshaun Fitzpatrick, Jackson, yeah. and Alan Holmes. And Deshaun yes. Jackson. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I couldn't find anything on yeah. them. Yeah. Uh, so and then they added uh, no one. Gabby Gabby Gabbert. Oh, they also lost oh, Gerald they, McCoy. They added, yeah. they added Blaine Gabbert. Yeah, they have Blaine Gabbert now. Um, Has Blaine Gabbert ever played for a team like higher? No. In the, no. Like left two? Well, he's, what he's trying to do is he's trying to play for like every team in the league. I think he's about halfway there right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> Jacksonville. Talk about a journeyman. <laughs> he, did he play for Arizona? Like I'm trying to like. He uh yeah let's, yeah Jacksonville played for Arizona, Francisco. New England, Cleveland, uh, Washington, yeah. Baltimore, Indianapolis. No, I, I I'm making all those up. Yeah. I think he's played for like five teams, but yeah, that's like yeah. five too many. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, along with that, they lost Devonte Harris. Oh, uh, they added Devonte Harris, mm-hmm. uh, Brashad Perriman, Kent- Kentrell Bryce, and Damick and Sue. And uh, Manuel Hall. Oh, I forgot about Indomitian Suit. Yeah. yeah, so that's the major signing. Hey, man. Yeah. Is he going to retire after this year? Is that yes, what and, and who you said? Emmanuel Hall? Yeah, okay. that's a wide receiver. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll be honest, I think this year is a step forward for the Bucks. Uh, I don't. I'm not like high on the Bucks this year, but it's like, look, you added Bruce Arians. I think he'll be a great head coach. Yeah. You have Todd Bowles, who I think, while he didn't work out as a head coach, was a f- great a defensive, defensive coordinator. Uh, I forgot who their offensive coordinator is. I think they changed it. I don't have it off the top of my head. Steve Sarkeesian. Keep uh, on drinking, baby. I think, I, I think um, you might see a different uh, – Fuck! What's the uh, quarterback? Oh, James Winston. Byron James Leftwich. Byron Leftwich. Oh shit! Yeah, 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 exactly. yeah, he's their offensive him. coordinator yeah. now. I he like the, the coaching. Uh, that's a good, that's a yeah. good yeah. coaching. Yeah, staff. yeah. Uh, I think Winston's gonna take a f- step forward this year. If like this crew can't help him, he can't be helped. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, I, I I think it's gonna be a step forward. I don't think it's gonna be a, a fantastic year. Uh, I have them seven and nine. Okay. I still think you know uh, they come in last in the division. Yeah. Uh, actually, no, because I changed my pick on the Panthers. Ooh. So I have them third in the division. But uh, I think it leaves some promise, and I think it might be enough to get uh, Jameis another contract. I think they see promise in him after this year, or maybe next year. I think they. 
Move it up. I uh, completely disagree. I think well, I know, gonna, I know I, you hate Jameis. Well, I don't. I think he's a terrible quarterback. Yeah. Um, and I too uh, big of a wristband guy. I think. <laughs> Uh, I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna eat a W all the way to the unemployment line, and uh, that's not how it works. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, you for him it is. Not many people on the employment line are eating <laughs> Ws. I'm having um, a great day here. Nope, nope. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, I've got him doing exactly the same as last year. They're gonna go five and eleven. Yeah, man. yeah. Their their defense fucking stinks. They got rid of Gerald McCoy, who was their like their anchor. Um, they 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 did draft Devin White, Sean Murphy, Bunting, Jamel Dean, and Mike Edwards. So they really ramped up the secondary, other than Devin White. Yeah. Uh, they they ramped up the secondary, but I don't think that's enough to do anything. And uh, Devin White, I think, is you know as a rookie, he'll be a good linebacker. But he's yeah. I mean he's the only one in that like you know in the midfield there. He was so, another one I thought like the Giants might take. Yeah, like, if he, he was, was there at the six. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. Um, but I, I you know I can see it. Because it's either going to be like there's promise in Jameis, mm-hmm. or they go five and eleven again and they enter that quarterback. That, I that think they're going to yeah. Where I, Arians wants to get his guy. I think I think the teams that are going to be going after quarterbacks next year are the uh, Buccaneers, Bengals, and uh, possibly the Titans. And I could see maybe the Lions throwing a hat in that mix. If they I've have thought, a poor I've year. considered that too. Yeah. I've considered that Stafford's you know the Stafford era might be might be done soon. Yeah, yeah. We, um, we don't know. We could be. And then, there. and then you could you could look at the team like the like the Saints or or the Chargers who might be looking at at a quarterback soon. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, Breeze is getting up there. Obviously, Rivers is getting up there. Yeah, there's going to so, be like yeah. a new era of like a lot of teams getting yeah. quarterbacks soon. And I'll be honest, I think we're in a great era of like a lot of teams have great franchise quarterbacks yeah, right now. I agree. It really seems like more than not, you really do hit with your I agree. guys. Yeah. Which is why, and, and the reason being is that like there's so few teams that need a quarterback right now. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. yeah, like everybody else has their, like at least for right now, they've got yeah. everything set in stone. Giants don't need a quarterback for another 14 years. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> no, but like, uh, like all right, Bills just drafted the guy that they that they yeah. hope is their franchise Josh quarterback. Uh, Browns did the same thing. Jets did the same thing. So, the Ravens did the same thing. Mm-hmm. Redskins just drafted their guy. Uh, Cowboys have Dak. Hopefully they'll re-sign him. You know, mm-hmm. at least they're hoping they'll re-sign him. Um, it's going to be the... A uh, lot of situations are pretty ooh. much pretty steady. Dak in Tampa. A little Dakery on the ooh. bay. Ooh. <laughs> Mikey's like, I'm not fucking there to defend Dak. <laughs> uh, Best three years. Yeah, uh, <laughs> <it's>, uh, <laughs> um, uh, but it's almost like a, it's going to be a changing of the old guard where it's totally. like... All the great quarterbacks of like the 04 class and like around there are going to be out soon. Yeah. Brady's got two years left. I yeah. think this contract. No, he, he has like his last 80 one. years left. Yeah, I, I, don't I, don't, I, I think this, I think this he's is playing like, I yeah. think he's playing like five more years. You think so? Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I completely buy it. He well, said, he's, he said it in the email to his dad where he yeah. just roasted Peyton Manning. Well, that's he's like, like fucking Vinatieri is like forty-five or something, and he's, he's like still like kicking. Yeah, and he's yeah. still kicking. Well, yeah. he, does, he doesn't do uh, he doesn't do kickoffs, so right. he just yeah. kicks. He just goals. kicks field goals. But yeah. um, but I mean, you're gonna have like the okay, take take or leave Brady, Breeze, Roethlisberger, Eli has his now. Yeah, Rivers, yeah. all these guys, you're gonna be starting to see, you know, yeah, starting to go out and get get yeah. the new face. Exactly. I'm I'm just gonna go through and see. All right. Patriots are obviously set. Bills, like I said, are set. Jets are set. Dolphins are hoping, like, they're going into this hoping Rosen can mm-hmm. prove that he could be the guy. If not, they're going to be going for It's like for the class of year of a quarterback versus Brady. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Much in that division. Uh, Steelers are, uh, you know, they, they, they're they a question mark because R- Roethlisberger might be done after, like, this year or next year. Yeah. Well, he always starts retirement. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah, they drafted Mason Rudolph, who has looked really good in preseason, mm-hmm. um, and maybe they're going to give him a shot. If not, they can go get somebody. But uh, Ravens are set. Browns are set. Bengals, we know, need a quarterback. Yeah. Uh, Texans are set. Titans are a maybe. Jaguars have Foles for the next couple of years. Colts have we'll Brissett, and we'll see We'll see what happens there. Uh, Raiders are set. Chiefs are set. Broncos might be set. They've got Flacco, and then he can lead to Drew Locke. They, they just drafted Drew Locke. Mm-hmm. Uh, Chargers, we don't know. And then the NFC, the Giants are set. Cowboys are set. Uh, Redskins are set. Eagles are set. Vikings are set. Packers are set. Bears are set. Lions are, are a question mark. Uh, Bucks are a question mark. Saints are set until who knows. Panthers are set. Falcons are set. Then the Niners are set. The Seahawks are set. The Rams are set. And the Cardinals are yeah, set. Yeah. 
Like, like there's, 85 there's to like, 90% of yeah, teams are set. There's like six teams that are yeah. right now, and some of them are question marks. Some of them yeah. could go either way. There's like three of them that are definitely going to be drafting mm-hmm. a quarterback. And if some so, don't yeah. draft a quarterback, they might be able to get one from a team that did. Yeah. Like, if the Bucks get somebody, they might try to give get wins, like trade wins to yeah. a different team. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, so, Bri, you got the... Uh, I got the... The Bucks at six and ten. I think six and ten. A little bit of a step up, and also a okay. Little bit of a so fullback. again, uh, again, we're all in the middle. Pretty much, yeah. 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 They're they, like the in this division, the cream kind of rises to the top. Mm-hmm. I think the yeah. the Saints are the top, and we're a little bit divisive on the Falcons. Yeah. We're, and also on the Panthers. Yeah. Uh, but we all agree that the Buccaneers are just nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So. So. Andrew, Alrighty. Wanna yeah, we'll do the uh, the run down here. So, uh, all right, so it's Saints, Panthers, Falcons, and uh, Buccaneers. So we got, coming to me, I have the Saints winning the division, 12-4, and four, followed by the Falcons, 10-6, and six, the Buccaneers, 7-9, and nine, and the Panthers, 6-10. and 10. Uh, Brian, you also have the Saints, 13-3, and three, mm-hmm. followed by, uh, what do you got here, the Falcons, 7-9, and nine, the Bucks 6-10, and 10, and the Panthers, 6-10. and 10. So you think it's the Saints division and everyone else yep. is just around. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> Chris, much. you got uh, you also have the Saints, 13-3, and three, so yep. we all have the Saints winning the division, yeah. uh, followed by the Panthers, 10-6, mm-hmm. the Falcons, 8-8, eight and, eight, and yep. the Bucks, 5-11. and 11. Yes. That's so, correct. Yes. All right, so... That is the South, ladies and gentlemen. That's the South. That's We've got the South, was the South will rise again. Ooh. <laughs> I don't think they will. <laughs> In 2019, that's a question of what we go around saying. The South will lose in the NFC Chris Wild Chris will be, be, be featured on Pick Plus. <laughs> what? He said a thing. Due to recent comments that have come to light. <laughs> My Twitter is lighting up. People are saying I am canceled. I don't. I, I'm so sorry, guys. I don't know what that means. <laughs> My podcast hashtag, is still going. I'm not canceled. Hashtag pass on perk. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, God. Oh. oh, God. It's all set in stone. It's, <laughs> it's happening before Roosevelt my eyes. Over Roosevelt. No, it's Roosevelt. Roosevelt. Son of a bitch. It's fucking <laughs> Seagal. <laughs> <laughs> who, will, who will solve this debate? Of Roosevelt, 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 Seagal, Seagal. He's not a fucking bird. He's not a seagull. <laughs> it's Seagal. <laughs> Him, Steven, the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's Stefan. <laughs> Stefan Seagal. Um, <laughs> Stefan Siegel. So uh, one episode left. We are... Three out of four done. Yep. Preseason Palooza. We got the West coming up. That'll be next week. And uh, it'll be an exciting time because that'll come out Thursday morning. And you'll be talking and then about Thursday night right will be game the, one. Yep. Right in time for the game. Uh, you would have done your fantasy draft by then, right? Yes. My fantasy draft is Saturday. Uh, my show is also Saturday. Oh so I'm going to finish my set. I'm going to have my phone. And I'm going to go sit in the back <laughs> of the venue and draft. Like nine Andrew's, on, Andrew's on stage on his phone. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Fuck! <laughs> I just got <laughs> oh, what's the name? Baker Mayfield. <laughs> Everybody hit the fucking floor. <laughs> My Kevin's in the fridge. <laughs> Should I take the Seahawks or the Browns defense? I'm worried I'm gonna like lose track of time and just be like having a good time at the show. I'm gonna be like, oh fuck, That's my draft started. Gonna it's gonna yeah. auto draft for you. I'm gonna auto draft and I'm gonna end up with like fucking uh, Jermaine. Andrew Kirk. Luck first round. Yeah, 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 Andrew Luck first round. How was he in the draft? Jermaine Curse in the second. Like, fuck, <laughs> goddamn, I hate this guy. Even what? for an auto draft, that's very bold. Want my money back. <laughs> Gonna take like Tyrod Taylor. Yeah, like, right. look, is he not a team guy? He's a backup. God damn it! What team is he on? Chargers. Chargers. Yeah. Wow. Uh, so where's Big Geno Smith? Geno Smith is out uh, of the league. The XFL. <laughs> the Ravens. I don't remember what team he's on now, but he's uh, he might just be a free agent. Maybe. Yeah. They replace him with Tyrod. I'm yeah. telling you, all wow. these guys who are free agents that were like once like high drafted, just go to the XFL. Yeah. Just just do I mean you got your Gino money. Gino Smith lighting totally. it up for the New York Guardians? Totally. Yeah. Did you hear did you hear the I mean I don't believe it for a fucking second, but everybody's be like, Well, Oliver Luck's the commissioner. I made that joke. You think, you think, yeah, I don't fucking you buy think it. Andrew it's Andrew Luck wants an easier schedule? Probably not. I was like, probably <laughs> probably just, <laughs> if he wanted to play football, he'd probably just make millions in the NFL. Yeah. I want to no go in a league that might not be there in, in a, another year. No one's choosing the XFL over yeah. the NFL. <laughs> they have to go to the XFL. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't. I don't buy that. I think the guy literally has outside ventures that he's interested in yeah. and wants yeah. to do those. Oh, he's yeah. G- yeah, he's gonna yeah. probably do some architecture shit. He yeah, he always go architecture. To, yeah, he can always go to the booth every so long. Like exactly, he's incredibly. By the smart, way, I'm yeah. very excited for Pat McAfee on Thursday nights. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I I'm so excited about that. Yeah, he's it's gonna be so much better than on, fucking Witten. Yeah, yeah, Witten sucks. Anything's better than Witten. They got rid of the Boogermobile too, right? Yeah, yeah. I hope yeah. so. Yeah, they didn't get rid of Booger though. 
Oh, God damn it. Talking about how guys ain't tough because they don't shit themselves on the sideline. Uh, Kelvin Benjamin is one Popeye's biscuit away from being a tight end. <laughs> that is, that is his yeah, that best good. fucking yeah. line. That was good. Like, if any, if yeah, but he's like, we used that as an intro that week. Yeah but, he's, <laughs> yeah, but he's also like, these guys, they go in there because they got cramps. They go in the locker room because they got to go to the bathroom. We went right there on the bench. Yeah, it's like, All the time. Like, we all the time we went on the bench because we were tough back then. <laughs> I'm going like, right now. <laughs> it's like, it's like it, doesn't make you, it doesn't make you tough because you went in the ba- went to the bathroom in your pants on the bench, <laughs> you fucking lunatic. Just sitting there like, yeah, I don't need no fucking bathroom. <laughs> I'm good. What's that smell? <laughs> you know what that smell is. Booger, oh, you, Booger, you got some problems. <laughs> Booger, you shit yourself over there? <laughs> He's like, yeah, you know what, dude, let's get this win. Let's get this win. And he's like, that was the intimidation factor. <laughs> yeah, you line up you line up across from a man, you look him in the eyes, and he know you shit your pants. No one wants to get tackled by a man with dookie in his pants. <laughs> Please don't tackle me. <laughs> they crumple I'm like going to the ground. I'm going game. to the ground. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> he's tackling me with his butt. By the way, I don't know how to do it, but apparently there's a feature in Madden this year where you can crumple. Like, as a quarterback. Oh, really? I don't know. So, like, one of the guys was, like, charging me. I think it's, like, both triggers and the right stick. Because okay. right stick is to, like, throw it away. Yeah. So, like, the guy was charging right me. Right stick throws it away? If you click it in, he just, like, throws it away. <sighs> I, so I, many I opportunities. I don't know fuck to throw So many away. opportunities. I take so many sacks because I'm like, I don't know what to do. Also, I found out, like, on defense... If like if you're doing any defense and uh-huh. you're, let's say you're in zone and they run the ball, yeah. if you just click R three, it makes your entire defense run f- like come in for the run. Huh. I was Which like, huh. cl- clicks yeah. in the, the just stick. Just click in the stick. It makes them all focus the run. I was like, what? How many fucking games I let Zeke run for like two hundred yeah. yards? <laughs> and everyone like, at EA is like, I don't know why. Like, everyone fucking thinks stop the game's it! Broken. I was like, why don't they tell us how to play the fucking game? <laughs> You can but, uh, always check controller options. Yeah, so, like, I did not know, like, how to actually crumple. So I went to go, like, pass it, and I saw the guy coming in, so I went to throw it away. The guy was, like, five yards from me, and I was like, Dad, this <laughs> fell on the ball. And they're like, I'm oh, place dead. And how, wait, how do you do crumple? It's, it's I think it's, like, both triggers and the stick. Okay. I think you put them both in, okay. and the guy just, like, falls. Because, <laughs> like, both triggers and the squares, like, slide oh, okay. when you're running with a quarterback. so many less interceptions. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I get so mad because it's like all of my interceptions are just like the ball hits the guy in the hands and oh, then like the guy catches time, it. Yeah. Dude, I had like almost 30 interceptions last year. I was like, God fucking damn it. Dude. Because I'm on the Dolphins. Yeah. So like, it's nothing. A lot of mine are like the, there's like just a, dude's like wide open and a safety comes from out of fucking, no, like yeah. the other side of the goddamn yeah. field. It, like it makes it impossible hops. one like one handed catch. Yeah, it's fucking bullshit. I'm like, give me a fucking break. Also, well, thankfully, like, this like this game is is much better with that yeah. this year. Like balls yeah. will actually go over linebackers' yeah. heads. It's, but you want to talk about offensive lines getting their quarterbacks beat the fuck up? <laughs> Try playing three years for the Dolphins. <laughs> uh, I'm ready if they don't give me like 25 million a year. I don't know if I'm you get like, to negotiate. I don't know if you get to negotiate a contract. I hope you do in the uh-huh. in the superstar mode. Have you done enough to warrant 25 million? I mean, I've, a year? our team's like a 75 overall. Uh-huh. I've taken us to the playoffs twice. We've lost in the okay. divisional round, but we've made it. Okay. Um. So I think I've earned it. <laughs> I have like, I, like this. I have like <laughs> Kenny Stills and I have Kenyon Drake who either runs for like seventy yards or seven. Yeah. He has like seventeen See. carries for like eight yards. Right. I'm like great great job. Great Kenyon. job, Kenyon. See, I took now you're hurt and here comes I, uh I took over the Cardinals. Yeah. So my uh, well, I'm at nineteen. Yeah. But Oh, yeah. you're catching up there. Yeah, every three years I'll buy a They moved up from 60. <laughs> Move up the one from with old Del Beckham yeah. on the cover. <laughs> yeah. The one with Jared Cook on the ramp. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh no yeah, I think um yeah, I did. My I suck. We sucked for like the first couple of games. I didn't <laughs> realize like, that was it. I suck. <laughs> I, I, I'm I terrible at this see game. See, the thing is, I didn't realize I didn't do like preseason before, so I was like, okay, so I'll just lose and learn how to play the game. I'm like, yeah. oh, these games are actually counting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. So, oh I, fuck. I I'm zero and seven on the <laughs> season. <laughs> I took the Car- preseason <laughs> ended three weeks ago. I took the Cardinals to the Super Bowl, and every like so each round of the playoffs, so I lost David Johnson to a knee tear, mm. Larry Fitzgerald to a shoulder tear. And then I lost uh, Jermaine Gresham to, like, a broken thumb. Jesus. All three games. And I was like, all right, I guess if I win, I win. And you, you want to know the and biggest... And they drafted a quarterback the first round in the draft. Oh. So I'm like, oh, <laughs> thanks a lot, guys. Hey, let me ask you uh, guys a question. When you're playing uh, in franchise mode uh, and your guy, like, say, like, your franchise quarterback gets hurt yeah. during a game, do you restart that game? Because I do every time. Yeah. 
I don't. I live with it. You live with I it? I live with it. Oh, no. I restart that I, game. I'm I, like, I, I can't play with because it. Because I, I love, like, lighting up the backup. I'm ready to fucking start over again. I'm like, well, I can't go the rest of the season with well, Chase Daniel, so. Uh. <laughs> we, we played a game, like, uh, they came over one day. We were playing Madden, and uh, I was the Jets, and I think yeah. you were the Cardinals. Yep. And uh, Darnold threw, like, three picks, so I brought in Davis Webb. I was like, I, I didn't even go to the last <laughs> I think he was, like, grayed out, like, inactive, and I was like, put your pants on. You're getting out there. <laughs> <laughs> and he threw for like 300 yards. Yeah, so he <laughs> won the game in the end because fucking Davis Webb. The fucking web slinger. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I don't think anyone's listening anymore, nope. but where can the good people <laughs> find you, Chris? Uh, yeah, uh, Twitter is at Dr. Underscore Perk. Same with Instagram. And uh, Charging the Mound is uh, at Charging the Mound on Instagram and uh, ChargingTheMound.com. All right, Brian. Uh, you can find me over at Movie Man Pod on Twitter, at Movie Man Podcast on Instagram. Uh, movie Man Podcast comes out every Sunday from now until the end of time, I guess. Sunday, yeah. Sunday, I think we're Sunday. doing uh, new it, like uh, not chapter two. We're doing yeah, chapter the, one. Yeah. It. Okay. okay. Because we've ma- managed to work ourselves into a back to school uh, theme okay. just oh, by, okay. by mistake. Did you yeah. do back to school? We did uh, weird science last week, and then I think we did uh, we did something else. I was like, oh, this is kind of like summer vacationy. Like, okay. I forgot. I even forget. I, I just like after the the show is like wrapped, I just forget everything. It happens. Yeah. yeah. Like I, sometimes I'll listen back on this show. I'm like, I don't fucking remember saying that. <laughs> <laughs> it just happens. Like, what? But uh, maybe I should go to a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> My memory is not what it used to be. <laughs> but uh, you can find me on uh, Twitter, Instagram, everything Parks X Core. You can also find me on the football field on Sunday morning, torching fools. <laughs> When I jog across the end zone, <laughs> because oh, my back is killing me. Wet hot American summer. That's oh, what we okay. did, yeah. So there was summer that, camp coming back. Yeah. yeah. There's there's one play I can show you the uh, the clip of where I was covering Justin mm-hmm. and like a fucking idiot because I was playing defense. I guess I led him because I thought the ball was about to come out. So he just back cut and my back. I was like, oh, I'm not fucking turning around. <laughs> he was just wide open. I was like, hey, got me. And then, my team's like, what the fuck happened? I was like, I can't make that cut. I was like, my back is in shambles. <laughs> All right. Well, All right. we will see you next week for the West. Uh, possibly having a guest as yes. long as uh, I think Mikey will be back from his I think so. travels. Yeah, said. I so, think yeah. so. We didn't even really mention that Mikey wasn't here. Oh yeah, yeah. we I were just kind of like people know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why. Well, that's why I came in. Yeah. Well, also, I wanted to talk about Andrew Luck when that and happened. how you lost. Um, yeah, I <laughs> possibly not getting three hundred dollars <laughs> because of Andrew. And Luck. Uh, yeah, like it happened, and I texted Andrew. I was like, "Hey, I, I need to be on this week." Uh, and then uh, it worked out that Mikey wasn't here, so you had a third a third person to do yeah. the picks. Yeah. So, so all, it all came together. Always, always happy to be on. Yeah. Absolutely, you're a, a preseason Palooza legend at this yes. point. Uh, <laughs> preseason Perkowski. I think if we were to like rank how many times we've had guests on, I think like we've had like one or two, and I think you're at like four. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Only two have made it to air, but, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but you've been on for yeah, like all four the ones episodes. that haven't made it. Just <laughs> countless. Yeah. But. Yeah. That's like I, I think you told it late last year, but the first time you told the Drew Brees story, that episode like that was the one we oh, fucked okay. up like the mic yeah. or something. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did not make it. Alrighty. That's it. Well, see you next week. Next. So week. the Drew Brees story.